Morning, chat. Hey, Pudgeinator. I'm alive. Yeah, kind of. All right. What were we doing? We were in the Age of Discovery, turn 133. So we really have to, like, a long, drawn-out game. Do I know why that's something I would like? That's my confidence. Having a rough go of it, mate. For sure. Alright, what was our conquistador doing? Those are town names. Presumably looking for wonders. But I feel like we have... Was oh, this the guy who can spawn engineers now, right? Pioneers. So maybe he wants to come down here and pioneer this thing. Alright, let's go there. Another conquistador. Has this been expeditioned? I can't tell till I see it. Ugh. It has. Man, these are unique mechanics for sure. What I'm not convinced is that they're actually enjoyable mechanics. I guess there's a mysterious jungle up there. Maybe that would be useful. Exploration. Exploration, I guess. Stupid AI doing stupid AI stuff. We built a privy council, which is tech rate, which is good. Oh, we have access to our new wonder. This is Machu Picchu. Sure. What are we teching right now? Open sailing, okay. All right, anything else of interest here? Town size is 20, 27, and 14. We've got a worker we don't like working here. And we need food. Food and housing, apparently. Am I liking this more than Civ? I don't really compare anything to Civ these days because I'm done with that game. Uh, I'm not really liking this game much at all, quite honestly. I keep waiting for it to get interesting, and it's a lot of micromanagement, and not a lot of enjoyable payoff for me at the moment. But that certainly doesn't mean my second pick is going to be Civ. Alright, we were... Ch so what is this? We no longer have the inputs for food here. Because we stopped importing because China screwed us over, right? So what do we do about that? This is our imaginary diplomacy options, right? That just don't actually work. Okay. So that city just can't do these anymore. So our foreign imports are now culture. Probably because we were restricted what we could do. All right, so what does this mean? This means somewhere our production chain is using these, but we can't. So 
So we don't really want to work this mill anymore. And what's this other one? The oven. All right, so those are useless to us. <laughs> wow, how annoying is that? That your external imports can be canceled at the whim of an enemy that hasn't even declared war on you? And the buildings that you build for the whole supply chain falls apart when that happens. Ugh. Okay. That's pretty rough. All right, we're working the museum because of the wealth out of that. The city needs food. How do we get this city food? We have two grassland tiles. Do we have improvements that do anything for this? So our borders are where? Our borders are here. I mean, there's not exactly a ton of food sources in here, are there? I mean, I suppose it's possible we just push down like a farm or something. But it's pretty unexciting. I Is Dune Spice Wars the one we played on stream? Like, maybe a year, year and a half ago? I consider the blatant rip of the UI mechanics from other games a positive to help with complex games being easier to learn or just unimaginative theft. I think the whole gaming industry is extremely iterative and extremely um, interconnected. So I think if a game innovates something interesting, other games are going to pick that up. I don't think it's theft. I think that's just literally how the industry works. So I think it's good for the players, for sure. Because good innovations showing up in multiple games is a good thing. But I think your framing of it is weirdly hostile towards it. Most enjoyable game I've played this year. I, I never I never remember what I've played in any given period of time. Uh, we're deliberately not warring, Marine. I think the warring with the AI is going to be unpleasantly boring. But maybe I'm wrong. All right, so we have a ton of production in this city. I feel like we're going to just end up building all the buildings and then just spamming uh, knowledge. I'm almost certain that's what we're going to be doing. Maybe we just don't need to grow. Maybe we just slam out some more uh, logging camps into saw pits. Seems reasonable. Oh, they're, I mean, they're doing annoying stuff, but they're not directly declaring. I suppose we probably don't need to be lock, uh, working two of those. And what is this? It's just literally gold and luxury. And luxury is fine right now. We don't even have a luxury demand. How do we not have a luxury demand? I thought it was over 11. So those workers were just making me money. Hello, Toadie. I do kind of want to start another one of these just to like see if our knowledge makes the game more fun on another round. But I do want to see the end of this first one before we do that. All right, let's build or one wood over. Let's build another saw pit. What do we do with the wood output? Does this do anything output rather? Does this do anything? Logs. Can I see the production train? I see logs go there. What a timber do? Timber goes, lumber goes where? Lumber might be a finished product. 11 is plumbing, 16 is lux. Ah, okay. All right, is this another wood town? Yeah, all right, so we should build some lumber mills. Logging camp there. A sawmill here. Saw pit. I don't know what the difference. I don't know what a saw pit is. Is it like a low tech lumber mill? All right, we're short one more wood production, which we can get. Wait, where did all my people go? I unassigned them. They auto reassigned. Fuck that. God, that's irritating. I wish I could lock buildings to not be used. But locking an empty tile does not prevent them from using that tile. All right, so that's been fixed. Saw pits at two of two. Wait, don't we have three saw pits now? Didn't I just build a second and third? No, I just built the second. All right. Ah, cheers, Fireheart. 
think the warfare might be interesting. Maybe we should try that. Say Millennia is a typical Paradox game, mechanic-wise great, but not finished with some large bugs. I, I don't know if the mechanics are great. The mechanics are complicated. I don't know if they're great. I'm not even sure they're good. The AI seems like dog shit to me. Although we will, we do have one more difficulty level to explore. I did figure out religion, kind of. And it's, I, I do find it slightly annoying too that I feel like um, you can hide a bad game behind very complicated mechanics because then the endless response to criticism is, oh, you don't understand it yet. And then you spend all this time understanding it. And by the time you've finally understood it, you realize it's just as bad as you thought it was all along. But you wasted a bazillion hours figuring it out kind of deal. I'm not saying this is the case in this game. I don't know yet in this game. But it does, it does happen occasionally, and it's always irritating when it happens. All right, what are we doing with these things? I'm just moving them around because we got them. I generally do make a command for that, but I have been not great about some things recently. That's one of them. So no, there's no command for that right now. All right, Privy Council. I guess the, the summary is still exploring. A little dubious, but exploring perhaps is my command for this right now. All right, uh, we finished the Privy Council in Second City. I need a mix of more production. So let's levy workers. And then I also need some science. This is the third town. Let's get a little bit of production points, maybe one turn of production points, and then we'll go back to science. All right, and I still got bad sequencing here. Like we need another lumber mill, I suppose. So that would be this tile. Don't have it. 22, okay. okay. There's this. Yeah, I'm feeling super burnt out. So I'm just trying to not push it. Which doesn't mean anything to you, I'm sure, but uh. Or uh, doesn't make it any less annoying for you. Sorry. I do, tr I do try to stick to my schedule when I can, but. Or when I. I did try to generally stick to my schedule, but I agree it's been pretty bad lately. All right, so moving our boats around. Sneaking some expeditions in here. Okay, 30 warfare, we have 300. I don't know if I noticed it was capped last turn. Take this one instead. Let's use our warfare point for tenacity, which is an upgrade on our social fabric tree, which gives us minus upkeep cost. All right, we're coming back here. And the plan is go there, spawn a pioneer. The pioneer immediately drops an outpost because if you spawn it on the tile, for some reason, units spawn with full movement, and it takes full movement to build an outpost, but here we can do it in the same turn by doing this. So construct an outpost. We now have this. Slap a trading post on this. Slap a trading post on that. Convert this to a castle, which I can't do because I'm missing engineering. Rip. Okay. All right, I don't want to end turn yet. We have 106 of these points. I want to go back to science. So let's finish fixing city number three here. So what is the hanging output? We still have two workers here who shouldn't be working this. And we're short food, but we can't really do anything about food, right? So this needs to be plus a logging camp. What happens if I hit plus again? I suppose it builds one. No, it'll be too easy. All right. So this tile logging camp. Wait, didn't I have the hex grid on? Where did my hex grid go? Did it turn it off? 
Show hex grid on world map. Anyone see a hex grid on here? <laughs> All right, whatever. No hex grid. All right, let's build a little, another other lumber mill. I don't call it a lumber mill. What are these called? These are called logging camps. Let's build another logging camp. Make sure that's assigned. This is now three. This this let's just be a number three, six, seven assigned. One hanging wood. We need another saw pit, but not yet. Where are the rest of my forest tiles? All right, where is it pulling the workers from too? There's still two here. I legit have no idea where those extra workers came from. All right, we have more uh, spots though. Take those. Two more of these. All right, that should be three. You know, I told it to unwork the mill and lump uh, thing, but all right. So logging camps now, seven of nine. Okay, so we kick these guys out. Bring this up to nine of nine. It really should be eight of nine, and the last guy goes to a new saw pit that we build, right? Because it was two that it was more efficient to do it there. So we throw down another saw pit here. All right, this is now three, missing one input, eight of nine. The next one that grows can go to the logging camp. I think this city is sorted for a bit. It needs food, but we can't do anything about it. Its needs are being met. So I think its growth is still pretty good. Because I believe the growth is the, for once we're actually being benefited by the fact there's multiple things that require growth. All right, so that city's good. We're down to five. I think I will go one more turn for these points so I can fix the other cities. Yeah, I want the mill and oven on work because I don't have the input for those anymore because we lost it because China randomly decided that they don't like us anymore. Not randomly, I mean, they've never liked us, but at one point they're trading resources to us. That is a lot of armies over here. They're killing my guy again, annoyingly. Dude, that's a ton of AI armies. Okay. We seem to have a dock improvement. Research is completed and culture is ready to go. Quite low on engineering and warfare points, which is kind of annoying. I may use research to spawn armies. I'm not sure yet. Because my outposts are pretty vulnerable. The outpost is a weird, it's just a weird mechanic. It's very quite, very weird. All right. How's our government? We haven't checked in a couple of turns. Bonus luxury from luxury goods, bonus wealth from luxury goods, bonus luxury from plantation goods. 160 for this. Let's grab this. All right, we've finished open sailing. We're ready for the Age of Enlightenment. I'm going to head that way. Pretty sure my armies are ancient at this point. All right, what can this be upgraded to? Like, what do we just get from the Age of Sailing? We got deep water transport, spawns a caravel, the trade company building, foreign import, and domestic exports. Nice. We missed the warehouse because we went to a unique age and it didn't have a warehouse, so this would be good. This means we can send internally, fix some of the supply chain problems. Harbor, which work for three wealth and one exploration. If I want to work raw tiles like that, which I don't. Caravel and a scorpion boat, which is a looks like solid combat stats. Twenty nine thirty three. What's the caravel? Twenty three thirty three. Jesus, is that worth having a unique unit for? Okay. All right, I still can't ever move here. I should just delete this unit. It's never getting through. Okay. All right, what am I doing with this caravel? I guess I'm coming down here. Barbs are neutral to us. Good news is the harbor upgrade works. The places you're getting fish already, so it's more value. Uh, on the fish tiles, then I should improve that. Okay, so this is there. We can't upgrade it. I guess this unit just wants to run down. Where does this, the unit that's being harassed? It's not this one. You can guard. 
All right, did we get new buildings now? Probably, the city's hit 15. Still doesn't have a luxury requirement. I guess that's coming up soon. We have a worker. The worker should be working the logging camp. So let's kick him out of the villa and work that. All right. We've been levying workers, which we're gonna stop doing. Let's build the trade company. Uh, we have the one fish there. And that is not upgradable. Because we didn't build a dock on it. I didn't. I don't think docks work um, fish, right? It's the trading boat. That's okay. No worries. All right, let's start fixing this town now. So what is this town doing that we don't want it doing? It's also quite low on food. It's probably... Overworking, oh no, sanitation is not overworked. We probably have some sanitation building upgrades we could do too. I don't think, I think trash heap is not our most technologically advanced garbage dump. We may have something else. There's the harbor. Culture district. Dude, I don't know how you'd ever have workers to work something like the culture district. Villa. Winery, religious scribe, museum, mine pasture. Okay. Oh, I don't know where this is attached to that new one either. Let's do that one. Thinking about it. Who wants this? Uh, I guess we send this to number three, huh? Change linked to there. All right. This city here. What are we working that we don't wish to be working? There's no red ones, so our input chains are not messed up. So it's probably just the extra workers. So this dock is a scam. And I don't know how much, 38 of 15, each religious pop in a region above five requires one faith. What does that mean, 38 of 15 then? Does that mean 15 is needed for 200? Or does that mean 30 is needed for 200? I think it means 30 is needed for 200, right? So we're slightly overworking religion right now. Uh, we have no hanging exports. Do we get any new buildings that might be interesting? No. We have a million buildings, but none of them are interesting. Okay. That means we could build another trash heap and work it. Feels weird to say those words out loud, but that's what this game is doing. We have no flat tiles though, so actually we cannot do that. So probably our best bet is just another logging camp. Because I don't need this. All right, let's find a forest tile. Let's convert it into a logging camp. Let's work the logging camp over the dock, which they've just done. Let's switch our build over from levy workers to trade company. These are heavy production costs. 330 production costs for these. All right, we still have 85 points. Let's see what the cap is doing. Cap has at least two lazy workers here. Maybe more, depending here. We're quite a... Uh, I thought it was double. So why is luxury at 200 if it's only 23 of 12 and it's supposed to be double? So we need a couple improvements to fix for this. Lux are the exception, zero is 100. Wait, what do you mean zero is 100? Do you mean, do you mean one to one is 200? And why would they have different rules for this? Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Okay, well, another, another complicated thing. So we have 24 of five luxury there. Luxury never goes below 100, even if you have zero. All right, so working anything with luxury, but well, we're not working anything with luxury. All of our luxuries are imported. Okay. Keep me on my mental toes. This is right. This this game, that's probably what this game is designed to do. 
the, the game is designed to keep the mental health of uh, an aging population of gamers satisfied. This is like doing the fucking morning paper puzzles and playing chess. Keeps your uh, mental acuity uh, going. Makes sense. All right. So what do we want to do in the... It's the cap we're working on, right? The game tries it. I'm sure it did explain it, but there's so many small things to keep track of Toadie that it's just immediately gone again, right? All right. One, two, three... How sanitation? We need more sanitation in this city. It must be because we're so large. They're just shitting up a storm in this city, aren't they? All right, what can we do about that? Is our is this the highest tech shitter? We have the trash heap. I think we had the midden heap. Is midden or trash more technologically advanced? They're both just piles of garbage, right? Looks like the trash heap is the most advanced. Wasn't there something we had? Didn't we have something? Can we not even build the midden anymore? The midden is gone as an option. Okay. All right. So I need flat tiles again, which we just never have, right? We have one flat tile there. So we need to build a garbage dump on our grassland. Got it. All right, grassland, where are you? Oh, we don't have a grassland. We have a luxury that's qualified as a grassland. That could give us, grapes would give us wine or fucking tooltip, stay. Stay. All right, well, we're not dealing with wine then, fine. We'll build a trash heap on your wine field. Okay. All right. Uh, this is going to be a civic trash heap, huh? So villa is the luxury housing one at 10. House is at 15. No, it's 12 and gives us a small amount of food from a different tech, I guess. And the lodge is 15, but gives unrest. Okay. It's a little thing that locks together in the top left corner of tool tabs when it's locked. Really? Well, how do I make it lock? Right click. Right click actually made it stay here this time. I don't know why it didn't last time. Something I'm not understanding about the interface. Anyways, we'll figure it out later. All right, so let's build our trash heap there. Right on. You wanted wine, you get trash. All right, let's make sure we work that. Right there. Still one fucking slacker. What can I really have to work this dock? It's time where you can adjust the settings, okay. I guess I upgrade one of these to make it more valuable if I'm gonna work it. I'm not super excited by that news, but it's better than that. There's no way that one gold per turn was worth any investment of any number of improvement points, by the way. But okay. All right, what are we building? We are building Machu Picchu, which we finished. Let's build the trade company. All right, culture power is up. I suspect we need to spawn some military somewhere. Probably in one of these random locations a million miles from everybody, like that one. It's a lot of units. I don't know how many of these are hostile. So let's culture, raise army. Pike crossbow seems pretty ancient, but whatever. We'll raise it there. All right. You guys chill. Okay. Oh, I forgot to look for upgrades. All right, randomly stealing boat wrecks. Exploration kind of needed, military kind of needed. Let's grab military. Another one there. Let's grab improvement points. Another one there we'll head to in a minute. Exploring, but doesn't seem to be a lot. I mean, I guess the wrecks are pretty valuable, but the rest of the water exploration has felt pretty uninteresting, especially when the barbs are neutral. Uh, warfare experience or culture? It's like warfare experience. We don't, we're not generating much of that. 
All right, I want this city to become a castle. To do that is like 40 engineering, which we don't have, so we'll wait. Okay. I think that means we're done again. Checking for the next age. Any of my military units able to be upgraded? I mean, I can upgrade into leaders, but leaders can't be upgraded past leaders, right? Yeah. Well, I could probably do some Diplo stuff. We haven't done that in a couple turns. And there's a cooldown on that. Right, let's grab, oh, let's look at these. I, mean, I need markers. I don't know why we haven't, like, there was a guy in here earlier asking about, like, uh, do I like when they steal mechanics from other games? I wish to fucking God they'd have stolen the mechanic that lets me mark a tile. All right, Diplo, our experience. We'll take Diplo, almost a 300 there. Let's move towards this one. Okay. If you fight a lot, excess leaders function as military XP banks. We might try some more next playthrough to get a feeling of it. See if it makes the game more interesting. But I wanted to just see the ages and the mechanics before I invested in war versus AI, like spammy AI like this. These are, if you look at this AI, this is like a standard, like just garbage 4X AI, right? It's expanded to every single spot. It doesn't matter how good or bad the cities are. It just randomly spams you with like, um, when the Ottomans were before the Ottomans died, they spammed us with an Alliance message every three turns, which is the fastest time they can do that in. Um, the guys next to you don't like you because you're close. It's standard, just like garbage 4X AI, right? Like doesn't do anything interesting so far. The Diplo options are garbage. It's very unexciting. All right, what does China think of us right now? We are these guys, so minus 62. And our options are every three turns. So is our, our gift is decreasing, right? All right, China diplomatic actions, recent actions, minus 16, difficulty modifier, minus 10, so almost too close, minus 160. Religious differences, minus 40. Trade, 150. Enemies with our enemy. Friends with our enemy. Enemies with our enemy. Friends with our enemy. Okay, so there's nothing useful here. I feel like uh, the send gift doesn't really work, right? Because the problem is the, we can only send this every couple turns and the amount of change in diplomatic relations decays and it isn't meaningfully, like there isn't enough. So let's try this. Let's try to like micro this enough. We have an embassy, I thought. Oh, they've rejected it every single every single time. All right, let's improve relations again. And we'll also diplomacy with our other neighbor who also doesn't like us. Minus 140 here. I don't, want to, I don't even want to waste my time with them. Okay. So they're making, what does this mean, treaty? Oh, if we had a treaty, we could generate a ton, that's a ton of knowledge. Looks like trade agreements are gonna be pretty valuable. I suppose what that means, are there anyone, can I see, I can see my relations, right? So it probably means we should find somebody who doesn't hate us. Looks like Persia. And the Aztecs are okay. We should send a diplomat to Persia to open a embassy. Where is Persia? France, US, Persia? Yes, okay. So if this is them, can we spawn a diplomat? It was called an envoy. Can I spawn them at these outposts? I can, that's convenient. All right, and who was the other guy who might not have been ridiculously bad? Aztecs. I don't think I can do anything about China. They have a minus 160 modifier for being next to me and I can never make that go away. And my options to influence it is like 20 every four turns and I think that decays. So I think I can't do anything about that at all. I think this is Aztec. Aztec are really far away. 
don't think I can get to the Aztec. I mean, I could send one via water, I suppose. To me, I don't know if they, I think they can. The last tech we got allows my guys to go deep water too, right? All right, let's try also sending one that way. All right, you go there, enter water. All right, the one we just spawned over here, not there, there, there. don't remember the sequence for getting them to do a thing. It's not that, apparently. That? Open negotiations. Alright. So this is Persia. They gained 50 from having an embassy? Weren't we minus 20? Persia diplomatic opinion towards yellow winds 30. Recent action 0. Difficulty modifier. Settlement's too close. Established relations are worth plus 50. I wonder if that decays because I feel like the China one is not there anymore. When we look at China, we don't have that established relations, right? Even though we've done that with them. No, we did. We had improved relation. No, it doesn't say established. Yeah, so that decays. I mean, you can summarize for me, Saul. I don't, I'll take your, I'm, I'm not doubting that you're right, but I still want to explore and see. All right, we want to improve relations with them. Okay. You guys are chilling. All right, we've finished the trade company. We probably need to build some military. I'd like some newer military dragoons. 2434. Knights are 2721. Scorpion boats are. Right. Let's build some dragoons and see what they do. I mean, they're just going to be in a random force unit. I mean, see what they do for our diplomacy options, I suppose, is what I mean. All right, don't want to end turn. Uh, the tech that we got allows us to send or receive imports somewhere. Where, though? here. So we have one more foreign import and now we have domestic imports. Domestic imports don't generate a thing, right? They just take an excess. Or rather, if I take from there, I if I take flour from here and get it there, I don't get two copies, right? It's just I lose it. So what would we even import? Like, what do we need? This presumably lets me, if we could have got warehouses earlier, presumably I could have done some specialization kind of stuff, but here it doesn't really feel that useful. I don't think we're gonna do that. Like, we'll do the foreign one, which is just culture again, because that's the only thing I can do, because no one will trade with me, I believe. I think that's why it's here. Okay. Somewhat disappointing, honestly, but okay. Well, I wanted to convert to the castle somewhere. I've got to figure out where that was. Can I open relations with China again, even though I've done that for a diplomacy boost? Probably not, right? We should try just in case. All right, 200 gold, we don't care. We'll take diplomacy experience. Arts or exploration, we'll take arts. Hey, AQJ. Call me Flurry. Filthy. Wrong channel, buddy. Wrong channel. All right. Dude, we're not even the first to find this, really? Surprises me. Presumably we are the first to explore it, though. We 
can spawn. Oh, it's guard. Wait, I thought these things could spawn. Explore. Oh, I probably don't have the. Is it engineering? Movement. Oh, I have to have movement locked. I see. I can move more directly there. I think. No, because I can't. Well, maybe I can spawn. It does spawn way over there. Okay, cool. And then we can upgrade and run this. Pay wealth to have success. Yes. Okay. Quitters never win. <laughs> have some of Jeff's money. Thanks. Filthy. Appreciate the prime sum. All right. So we're going to try to meet the Aztecs. Trade company done here. Uh, we're going to be... Oh, I'm building units. I guess I do want to build... I kind of wanted to build science, but let's get a couple units out and see what the military score stuff does. What is our relative military score? Can I see? Power score 2101, your power 1531. So we're quite a bit behind. Okay. I wish it notified me when my cities grew. I think this city grew. Definitely did. And I went to work that long. Oh, we have a slacker here. No closed water. Or no... Um, we need more housing. Lodges are the most efficient housing, but we don't have any more flat tiles. It's kind of crazy how important flat tiles are. Well, we can't do anything about that then, I guess. We have all the border expansion buildings. We could purchase a tile, but I don't even think we have flat tiles adjacent to us anymore. So the city just can never do anything again. All right, we need, um, what do they call it? We need houseboats as a tech. Is there houseboats in this game? Because so we need somewhere where people can live and we need floating trash piles as well. All right, let's keep running our mission here. Why, who knows? Pay 30 warfare. Yep. All right, the boat can move on. Let's just get into deep water so we don't get harassed by player units. We're scouting for wrecks over here. One there. Later on, I can cut down for us. I feel like um, that tech is surprisingly late in this number of eras. I feel like people have been cutting down for us for a very, 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 very long fucking time. And it's weird to me. I can't do that yet. All right, we have cultural power here. What do we even want to do? I suppose we probably want our next innovation. So let's grab cutting edge. Have the dragoon completed. What are these worth in power score? We were like 1510 last turn. I wonder if it's comparative or total. We're now 1571. A dragoon was worth 60 power only. They must spam so many fucking units. I just don't care enough to diplomacy with them. I think I would just rather build science. Let's build science. So what did this do for us? We were making, can I see the output? Generates 12 knowledge per turn. Our current knowledge is 35. No, that's, uh, no, that's including this. What was it before this? Can I cancel that? Making 12 goes to 35 from this, Jesus. All right. You're reluctant to buy this game? Yeah, I think it's reasonable to be reluctant to buy or play this game. At the moment, I think it's complicated, but not fun. And I'm willing to have my mind changed if it does get fun, but at the moment it's not fun. It's not, it's not like awful, it's just not fun. The feeling is someone said, you know what would be really cool? 
if we made a really complicated forex and everyone's like okay and then they made really complicated systems and no one along the way was like well how do we make this fun for the player because i don't feel it here take risks pay i don't want to pay engineering points tough it out Ugh. all right get some ping engineering yeah. all right this is our deep water transport headed to wherever there's a lot of resources over here that we need to get to all right diplomacy diplomacy or warfare we'll take warfare all right where is this boat this is you have returned this side i see Cheers. Thank you, Care Bear. Hope you're doing well. I wonder what determines where wrecks spawn. Okay, I also think we maybe can diplomacy again. I need a. If they're gonna make me have this weird, random three or four turn timer in between when I can send diplomacy diplomacy events, it'd be nice if they notified me when I could do it again. Power score is based on number of pops in your region and vassals, a number of towns owned and text unlocked, number of tiles owned and number of units, more modern units weighing more, I see. Well, thanks for that. Right, let's run the final phase of our expedition. I think it's the final phase. Okay, 100 Diplo. Unfortunately, it's gonna overflow and it won't let me spend Diplo in the meantime, right? See, this, this mechanic. If you're gonna give me units of 100, can't I overflow for the turn and I'll lose it after the turn? Do I really have to lose it in its entirety? Why? <sighs> this thing can't take these, right? Oh, it can. Well, this guy's not going to be making diplomatic things. He's going to be accumulating points. I guess I should spend this so I can get more. I wanted to make a Diplo action, but with 300, I just need to spend it. Warfare will take. So we're just literally producing nothing in our town. So do I have units that are upgradable? Can I tell that somehow? Looks like no is the answer. All right, what are our resources like? We're at 285 arts, 170 warfare, research next turn. We get a new era next turn. Okay. Oh, I could have done Diplo, but all right, but we should have done it first because okay, because of overflow. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. All right, we've done it. We have entered the Age of Enlightenment. We get specialists for more complication. Fantastic. Secularism grows, preventing the founding of new religions fully converts religious populace to be non-religion. From now on, four texts need to be researched to advance the next age. New national spirits unlocked. Okay. One of your regions has a population of at least 31. At populations above 30, regions start to have a need for education. Education requires flat tiles, which you can't build. All right, sure. Specialists are a new resource starting this era, representing skilled workers. They work like a different kind of improvement. 
Specialists work like a different type of improvement points. More advanced improvements require specialists to build. Okay. We unlock the musket, the recon balloon engineer, the man of war, the museum, which we already had, and the public school. Okay. The 300 exploration points. We don't have a new government. We do. I think new government is next era, I think. All right. We may choose. There's a lot of options in this era. Scholars get education from books, goods. Unlocks the great library. Bonus knowledge per allied or open borders nation. Unlocks the translator, converts foreign manuscripts. Generates extra knowledge from the Eureka culture event. Unlocks scholarly society. It's a building. This generates five education. All right, what else do we have? We've got commanders. Military shit. Engineering, which we don't generate any points for. One-time boost to knowledge, innovation, and specialists. 50 knowledge, 20 innovation, 100 specialists. Construct inventor's laboratory, which generates innovation. I wonder how, I mean, this is a ton of plus innovation, but innovation is lost every time it fills, or at least two two thirds of it is lost, I think. is I don't really care. So the colony specialized outposts at one of your at one of your units so long as the outpost can be built there. Adopt the nation as a vassal, spawn settlers. Dude, can you imagine spawning settlers in this era? What where are you gonna find space? The AI have been expanding for a thousand eras. You get 18 free pop for sultans, huh? Okay. Is this game early access chat? No? All right, I'm gonna take scholars. I can't be bothered to read any more of these. All right, bonus to education from books, goods, and unlock the great library. Let's unlock the great library. Scholarly society is a building. We desperately need buildings. Generate knowledge from the Eureka culture power. Unlocks translator. Do we have a culture power this turn? We do. All right, let's grab unlocks knowledge from the uh, culture power. It's not a domain, it's a scholar. Okay, it's this one. Let's grab that. All right, so if we take, we're at plus 20. We don't really want to take that right now, though. Oh, Eureka is not what I thought it was. I was thinking Eureka was cutting edge. Eureka is a different one. Immediately gain knowledge, advancing the currently researched tech. It's 185 knowledge. All right, what are we teching right now? We need some military techs. So let's find a military tech. All right, Age of Harmony, global population, global population falling religion. 32% of 30%. So we're already there. Still requires four techs. Age of Ignorance, Recon Balloon Engineers, Age of Ether, Age of Revolution. Alright, Standing Army. We'll go here. Let's run our Eureka. Okay. Next turn we'll get that then. So we've already done everything we can do with this. Sir, the barbs make movement around. I think we just have to delete this guy. Do we get a refund for deleting him? Do not. I guess I have deep water transport now. I didn't have to delete him. 
I didn't have deep water transport last time. All right, we'll take exploration. Our diplomat has become an explorer. Found that change of pace more interesting, I guess. Or that, uh, that profession more interesting. All right, boat can be upgraded. Doesn't have to be in my own base to do it. it cost me 12.5 exploration. Is there a point in upgrading this boat? I guess it's power projection, but do I care? Uh, let's undo that move. All right, exploration or diplomacy. We'll take exploration. Why did my diplomacy reset? Oh, because I spent it. I wanted to try to get a trade pack. I will take diplomacy here. So we have a ability to trade now with these guys, right? So we established a thing. We're ready to do this again. We'd like to open an embassy. They think uh, plus 50 of us. We might be able to get an embassy. Pay 100 wealth. Pay 30 diplomacy. Establish an embassy. Not at war. Sun choice. Both nations gain access to a wider range. Let's try this. We might need to restore neutrality first. Is our relationship hostile? To do this, we require hostile. How do I know if we're hostile or not? The sword versus the dove above the number. Oh, I see this sword. Okay. My capital can attack something. Use ability capital attack. So I could attack this French unit. How come this French unit has no combat power? Next turn, we'll have 300 arts points for what that's worth. Government requires 160 for this, or 85 for that. We seem to be good on luxury goods. We have improvements. Did we unlock an improvement with this tech? I don't think we did, right? Because it's just an era tech. And we're still working science. I think I got a building from a... Did. Where? Museum is education. So they use museum twice. It is both a tile improvement and an internal building, huh? Okay. Oh, and the Great Library was actually garbage. I don't know why I took that tech. I didn't know what it did, clearly. All right, let's cancel treatise and build museum. I guess we're doing that in all of our cities. Uh, do we have any flat tiles open in the empire? We do not. Flat tiles are technology we do not possess. So I guess that's good. Public school is fantastic. Maybe we can go read it. The public school cost me three education and works for five education. Can it be built on a hill is the number one question we have to ask here. And the answer is no. I mean, we do have one flat tile available in our empire. It could be a public school tile. Let's see what else the city has going on right now. We could delete these since we're not able to use them anymore. And we also have these domestic imports and exports now. So let's delete the oven and the mill. Wait, why does it say we're able to do this? Convert wheat or rice to flour. we have wheat locally no that's being sent in oh we can work these now because we that's the new outpost that we settled giving us wheat uh we have any slackers we don't have any slackers in here kind of need to i guess this one is kind of 
not that exciting. What's the total production in this city? 146, so five is not that exciting. All right, I will build this public school to see what the hell it does. It is presumably civic, it's a school. Hey, all right, and I wanna work the school and we're gonna steal the guy from the furnace. You are now a teacher, Furnace Man. All right. And what can we build with the... We don't even have the new point, supposedly, that we're getting. Oh, I want to upgrade that castle still. And... Diplomatic action. Restore neutrality. Rejected. Now I have to wait three turns before I can do anything with the game. God, the fucking diplomacy system in this game sucks. It just sucks. It's just bad. Okay, uh, take diplomacy experience. All right, we have 300 arts points. We can now spread religion, religious celebration, adopt religion. Okay, we'll take community, whatever the hell that does. Warfare, exploration, we'll take exploration. All right, what do we have for the public is 150 to 160, we'll wait. Scholars is 150. Improvement that converts foreign manuscripts into books. I don't know when we're ever going to be able to build more improvements. Education from books, good. Unlock scholarly society, which was what? It's a building. Great libraries also generate X XP for all domains, one of each. Well, that's pretty good. We should maybe do that and build the great... Oh, we have the great library, which didn't seem great, but maybe gets better when I have something like this. Yeah. All right, so we'll wait on that one for 180. All right, get back in the city. Finish standing army. Get a... Let's get more science, I guess. I guess the other thing I could look for, is there anything that takes... Increases the number of towns a region can support. How do I know what my town cap is currently? It's two. Well, we kind of need space, but I don't know if there's any borders that we can actually expand to. Top of city screen right next to housing. Two of two there. There's no space. There's, I mean, there's flat tiles over here. Flat tiles are so valuable that I think I think we're taking that tech just for that alone. All right, let's grab that tech. We'd like more towns. Public sphere, let's go. All right, what can I do with this army? Do any of these promote now? Looks like I do have promotions. Upgrade to cuirassier. I don't know what that even is. Never heard that word. That was a, it's a dragoon. Looks like it's a horse improvement. Okay, I guess. What is it taking to do this? Presumably military experience. Yeah. Any other promotions? Pikes get promoted to muskets. Burning of all, all of our military experience here. Which probably isn't good, but whatever. Okay. Chill, chill. What did that do for our power, by the way? We're up to 1682. Do you have a clear cut from age five? Do you have clear cut from age five under engineering domain? Age five. Is there a way to tell what era that is without memorizing it? I, mean, I guess we can count. One, two, three, four, five. 
clear cut from engineering domain. There. Six turn tech if we want to go back for it. It's quite expensive. How many open forests do we have? One in the cap. One in the expand. I think, I guess it's better than town expansion. My cities are just blocked. I guess it is better than what we're teching, sure. All right, so that is technical engineering. All right. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> Can it give me any hints, the diplomacy system, of when they might accept the thing? Like, what kind of, like, couldn't it tell me, like, the percentage odds or something that I could get that accept off? Why is it just firing off into the, the ether whether or not I'm going to get an acceptance on these? It's driving me nuts, the diplomacy system. Like, I'm trying to engage with it. Like, it might be a thing, but it does not feel like a thing. All right. Bonus government experience from books. You bet. Sounds amazing. Accept neutrality. Didn't we just offer this and they said no? Like, literally last turn? What a shit diplomacy system. All right. Exploration. Diplomacy. Exploration. Diplomacy. Let's grab this. I don't know what you're doing. Exploring the ice camps. <laughs> I've got like the whole world like on tiles explored with these boats. Anything else we need to do right now? Cities are probably growing again. The city's at 22, for example. Slacker's there. I'm working a raw forest. I think we're gonna chop that forest when we get the tech. Could do these domestic imports, but exports rather, but I don't know why I would. This is for moving around very specific things. Maybe you're supposed to specialize the towns and export, like, but it doesn't seem like you would have enough slots to make that real. I don't know. That's another complexity that I don't know why I would care. Yeah, right? Like, why have they made that weird trade? Does that also block my diplomacy event for two more turns? It does. Okay. It feels like the shell of a game right now. Like, it's got a bunch of systems in there, but... Alright, this is supposedly my diplomat who wants to head to here, right? It keeps getting stuck on Rex. Okay. All right. Finish the museum. The great libraries are going to be more valuable for us in a minute. Yeah, there's a lot of... Wait, Great Library is a single. Oh, I didn't realize that. Uh, I assumed Great Library was available in every city. And therefore... Can I, I, again, I need a city breakdown so I can see which cities are good at what. This one makes 192, 118, 136. This is our best production space. All right, we'll build a Great Library there then. So that makes this tech a lot less interesting. This uh, I'm not, it's not the government tech, although I do want that. The scholar national spirit is a lot less good because it's just then a single time of this instead of three. Okay. All right, well, I can build some military units to make diplomacy with the AI better, which sounds horrible. 
we could try to get the other era. Like if I build five of these, apparently we get a different era that's like the balloon era. I don't even know why I would want the balloon era. I feel like I should just spam tech to get to the end of this game. I don't know how do we win though. Like is there a tech win con? Like how many more errors are there? I wonder what the age of harmony is like. I think I just prefer tech over everything else right now. 10 ages? We're only on age six. We're only 60% through the age progression? <laughs> the volume of the balloon era is overinflated. Nice. Fuck. I've been hitting end turn for like two eras now. There's spaceships in this game? Wow. Do we restart? Like, I say this, I was planning to finish the playthrough to get a sense of the scope of the game. But I thought we are mostly done because the AI isn't doing anything. We have all of the improvements on our base is done. We're literally converting production into a resource, which tends to be the least efficient way to generate a resource in a game and done when you've done everything else the resource the area can do. Going to either have some fun then quit. Why either? As opposed to um, Harmony. Money is the game name. It's the length of a single skirmish. True. Alright. Let's do tech to get into the Age of Harmony. And then we will reevaluate um, what we would like to do. We'll try a different styled game. I'll try a little bit of military and a little bit different expansion pattern in the next one. We have learned a lot about the mechanics of this game. I'm not this playthrough, I mean. I'm not super convinced I'm very excited by the, the mechanics of the game, but I have learned a lot about them. Yeah. I can't imagine, without a town management page, without a, like a town summary page, I can't imagine having like 20 towns in my empire. It's going to be miserable to like try to stay on top of all the tile improvements and other things that you're supposed to be doing in a town. Like, I don't have idle worker notifications. I can't lock tiles properly, so I can't prevent them from working tiles I don't want. Like, it's going to be miserable. Completed our chopping. We have upgrade to civil engineer, which is engineering points, and upgrade to lifting tower. What is this upgrading? Does it tell me what it's upgrading? Crane, I see. All right, taken techni technical engineering. We need to get four techs to get out of this fucking era. Uh, let's grab public sphere still. Hypothetically, this means we can cut some forests. Let's see how it works. I may gather, I can't, what is, okay. What is the action we've just unlocked? We've unlocked this action. Clear cut, engineering domain power. Oh no, I have to pay engineering points for this? Clear. It's 50 fucking engineering points to clear a forest? Wow. This is very expensive. All right. What is this upgrade that we've unlocked? You can upgrade sawmills. What do they upgrade to? So they're currently working for one engineering, converts four logs. 
Okay, if I work it here, what did it upgrade to? Upgrades to a sawmill from a saw pit. And did I just see that it changes the ratio? Yep, it changes the fucking ratio. Am I insane for thinking this is not a good mechanic? So you balanced all your production lines for inputs and outputs, and this now changes the number of inputs without changing. Like the upgrade is, I mean, it's more a more efficient saw pit, I guess, but I don't know, man. That sounds miserable. Because like your whole number, you're gonna like be tearing down improvements and rebuilding improvements to deal with this. the border expansion over time is good enough for this. Kind of forgot we had explorers open. I, I'm starting to come down on the side of I don't like this game. I don't know why everything has to be so painful between the UI and the micro requirements of it. Like I, I enjoy overcoming challenges in my games, but I don't want the challenge. I like the challenge to be thematic to the game as opposed to the UI and a sanity challenge. Yeah, the AI is just as bad as all ever, all 4Xs I've ever played. I don't feel like those improve over time. I feel like they just stay, stay exactly the same in terms of bad. All right, but we will... Okay, I'm going to stop complaining for a minute. Let's get to the next era. We get to the next era. We'll take an evaluation of what we can do in that era, and then we'll probably restart is my guess. Wait, what happened to my envoy? Did it die? Or is this the envoy? Oh, this is my envoy. I've lost track of what he was doing. Wait, I thought I gave him a command to go up here. Does it not keep my path commands between... Oh, that's a caribou. It's not what it was. Oh, I didn't say no complaining. I said we'll slow down on the complaining for a minute. It's not complaining. I'm evaluating and answering the questions that I get asked repeatedly, which is what I think of this game. So I'm doing I'm doing that. I'm answering it. And we've built the great library. We'll upgrade to the civil engineer. We'll end turn. Boats have arrived in the same location. <laughs> no, I didn't click the tile. I was dragging the map. Disaster. Yeah, but confirming movement is like a 12 click process, right? So the multiple problems with that are next and end turn um, are the rotation goes next unit next unit next unit end turn but there's no prompt are you sure you want to end turn and a number of the actions in the bases are no notifications to deal with so when you grow or when you get a new tech 
or when you get a certain number of improvement points that you can assign, ending turn just loses your ability to interact with that on the turn. Also, the next move, you end up wanting to spam it because every time your unit sees a thing, it stops the movement and tells you you have to press that button again. So if there's a, if I'm here and my sight radius is one and there's like four barbs over there, it goes one movement, stop, confirm your movement again because you saw a guy. One movement, stop, you saw some more guys. One movement, stop, confirm the movement again. And all of this is again, if you click too many times, you just end the turn and lose all your upgrade options. Oh. That doesn't seem ideal to me, but maybe they've done market research and it is ideal. Alright, so we're looking to do this and then do that. Gives us a wild social fabric point. Social fabric seems didn't give us a wild social fabric point. I thought that's what happened when we finished these. Social fabric points. Expedition is completed is greater or equal to three. Have 13. Social fabric point. Plus social fabric insight. Oh, I see. It's just specifically uh, one of the types. All right. Um, I've lost my... Water transport. It doesn't tell me what's in the transport, though, huh? It's got to be that, because nothing else is transported right now. All right. So this is my deep water transport. I wish for you. Wait, really? I still can't see what's in it, even when I select it? How is it not possible to see what's in my transport? Left click to sub-select. I think this has to be my envoy, right? This game is fantastic. You're the first person I've heard say that. It's the second line. Uh, transporting envoy. Sure. Okay. Um, tell me why it's fantastic. Because I would like to find the things that it does well and interact with those as much as I can. So why is it fantastic? I don't, I don't know if I want to upgrade to a lifting tower. I think I want to spam science, but whatever. I guess we'll upgrade to a lifting tower. Spam science. At the moment, it plays like the info era of Civ, where my goal is just to click next turn as soon as possible so I can go to space. You don't know. You hear a lot of complaining about the game, but you think it's a lot of fun. You love the econ management and their take on a lot of different mechanics that you can't really list out all at once. I find that slightly unsatisfying as an answer. Hey, Gijin. Yeah, but I, I'm not, don't, don't take, you can enjoy the game and you can love the game and I can hate the game. I'm totally fine with that outcome. And I'm not challenging that you like the game or not. I'm asking you to list the things or list some of the things that you enjoy. And you did, you said the econ management, for example, which I find tedious, but are there other high points for you? Because again, I'm, I'm looking for the high points of the game so I can engage with them because at the moment I find it, I find my outcomes too far removed from my inputs and I feel that the act of inputting in this game is fairly, I'm fighting with the UI and it's fairly tiresome, the, the, that. So what are the high points of this so I can play to those as much as possible? Okay, Eureka. I wonder if we can trade with Persia yet. We can. Okay, so we've, we have st 
stopped the hostilities. And I want to try to open an embassy. We have no idea how that works yet. Our actual, we actually have less diplomatic relations than we did before. Let's try and improve first so I don't waste all the time. Building your own sib by choosing them is great. I like the idea of customization. We have a police department. What does it do? It's unrest suppression. We don't have any unrest. I'm not going to build that yet. I also like the idea of customization of your civilization. I found that extremely fun in Old World, although that's the best example of that I've seen. And I found that moderately fun in Humankind. Um, the problem is, I want my once I've specialized my empire, I want to do the thing it's specialized for. And at the moment, I don't feel like I'm doing any things. I just feel like I'm ending turn. I just apparently upgraded this thing. What did I just upgrade? I have no idea. Could be upgrading saw pits. That probably ought to be. Some upgrade buttons. Uh, the Empire building econ managed for something you wanted in a 4x for a while. I like the way they do tech ages. I think it's a high point in the game. The game is definitely a skeleton. Beyond a certain point, it needs flushing out like Diplo trade war systems. True. I'm stronger than Persia, they would have accepted the embassy now. Is it literally just that? Is it really just the only mechanic, the only uh, thing that matters for diplomacy is just strength? I know you've been telling me that, but I assumed it was strength was a factor, but not the only factor. It's getting laggy too. All right, so to engage with this, it's okay, so multiple people are now saying. I've been told multiple times by different people that the Diplo is garbage. The war isn't very good. So if we want to have the most fun with this, we're doing base building with specialization. I guess base and nation, I suppose. So it's like, it's, that's, I'm not. I'm not pointing that out. I'm not putting that out that way to ridicule it. I'm trying to think if our, if if we play another playthrough, and I was planning to play another playthrough. If we play another playthrough, how should we focus? Okay, I'm moving around these boats. Is there an easy way to find wrecks on the map once I've explored the map? Like, is there an easy way to like find the wrecks that I've already found? Because I want these boats to go to wrecks, but I don't want to individually scan every tile on the map to look for wrecks. Is there like a overlay that I can click to that will be like wreck overlay or auto assign the boats to go get wrecks? No auto explorers. I mean, I've already done the exploration. It's just when I was first exploring, I wasn't aware of the wreck mechanic and therefore didn't prioritize picking them up. Some over here. All right, you're going there. It's 10 turns. Great. Means I don't have to think about you ever again. And there's that spamming continue move option. All right, we found one. What is this? Is this my transport again? No. This is the NAR. Any wrecks in here? It's because this is like cloud covered. Plus the wrecks, it's like impossible to see anything. A million fish. Oh, I lost my unit, okay. You are getting deleted because I don't want to deal with you anymore. Okay. Moves 
barbarians from the game. I'm not going to the Age of Either, though. I'm going to the Age of Harmony. All right, we will try a empire-focused. I just want to point out this message again. Ready? Persia. Your forces are too close. Persia. Here. Me. Here. My forces, presumably it means my 67 combat strength single musket. <sighs> okay. All right, so this is our transport. This is our transport, it's arrived. Go there, continue move, unload from transport. My envoy's arrived, envoy. Okay, we would like to, our power's stronger than theirs, so we'd like to open an embassy. Games econ basically just said, but if the econ mattered, if the economy mattered, like geography actually mattered, for some um, city empire development, the good system is just a great idea that's hampered by the fact the economy outside your own borders isn't real. Sure. At the moment, I find the, the goods chains annoying. Um, it slows down learning for a new player because it's not generic production, it's chains of production that you have to memorize. I find it also annoying when you have like odd numbers of resources. The resources aren't all visible to begin with, so you can't really plan ahead for which ones you need. They're all tech gated, so you kind of need to tech the line that makes sense with the resources you have, but the resources you have change from the expansions out there. I, I've actually not found the production chain mechanic very enjoyable for me. It feels... It feels like when it all lines up, it's probably pretty sweet, but a lot of the times it's kind of just awkward my favorite parts of this game so far have been the outpost system and ending turn all right they've rejected open embassy for some reason we have stronger military strength than them they like us well they're neutral anyways Improvement point mechanic is okay, I guess. Right. Use culture power. Exploration. This is done. This is also exploration. Scholarly society. Knowledge is a national resource. Knowledge is used for each turn. Generates knowledge. What do you mean it generates knowledge? Via what mechanism? Building? A unit? Just in general? We have three of four. We need four of four for this one. Global population is growing faster than religion. We might time out on this, but hope not. Border expansion and wealth. Take more boat shit, I guess. Oh, this one's quicker though. It's society and colonies are quicker. Let's go society, I don't want colonies. I think um, a lot of these problems could be fixed by a town cap, so you can't spam settlers. There needs to be more space if any of these later era settlement stuff matters. Innovation missionaries. For faith from regions. Sure. Oh, I liked the innovation thing initially. Initially, they were very impactful, but uh, they've been less impactful as the ages have gone forward. All right, exploration. We have the scientific process, which generates knowledge. Unfortunately, this is another one where the resource to do the thing is the same as the resource to unlock the text to do the thing, which is a bit painful. 
What does this mean? Scholarly society is zero of three. Oh, we have to build the building. All right, unlock this. Something's happened here. I should fix it. I, I don't want to fix it. I don't have enough of these inputs because it's changed the ratio and I don't have enough of these so I can never fix that. I'd have to import from an AI that's just randomly hostile all the time. Looks like I do have access again. I don't know why this is back on the list. Because that list was entirely unpopulated a moment ago. What has changed? Do these mean anything? Open borders. That may maybe that's an open border thing? And that's why we can trade? I don't think Persia is happy with me. That hypothetically means I can spend my entire next 20 minutes rebalancing all my imports to have the AI close borders next turn. Also, that type of micromanagement means this is never going to be possible to play this multiplayer. You're just not going to have the time to do that, right? And this game also is not well set up for like turn-based multiplayer, like um, play by email or something, because uh, it's too many turns. Fuck, I did say I was gonna get into the next era. All right, let's get into the next era. All right, I have a new building available, right? So we should build those. Is the a couple new buildings? Oh, we get us some text along the way. Trade requires not hostile and envoy. I see. Hamburger, clone. Do, do we do we want to fix the import and export? I think. I will pay attention to that in another game, but I don't think I'm doing it this game right now. It's just, I don't think we're gonna be playing this one long enough to care. I am hesitant to endorse the idea that this game is for min-maxers because I am absolutely a min-maxer, but I'm finding the game fairly underwhelming at the moment. Yeah, I guess that's a good question. What's an average game run to? Like how many turns on average? 10,000? 100,000? Two fifty or so. Game ends at open borders, you bet, buddy. All right, we hit this. Hypothetically, this means we can go for the Age of Harmony. Fantastic. It's called millennia for a reason. True. Do I win on the spot? That'd be kind of nice if I won on the spot. Ancient Idol, we built scholars. Let's upgrade to university. I didn't know I had victory conditions though. 
So where do I see my victory conditions? I haven't even found them yet. Also, what is this? My interface just disappeared. Oh, this is a turn transition? Okay. Uh, all right, we're ready for another Eureka. I don't have a victory condition yet, okay. Upgrade to a shopping center. Police department, a public university, yep. Okay. All right, uh, this is done. We're almost in the next era. 300 warfare points. Explorers are done. Scholars require that. That. And we're done. Okay. All right. University. What is Academy of Science? Requires region level eight, three specialists on build, 10 specialists, demand for needs, education, upgrade line, academy. I just want science, that's all I want right now. That one then. Okay. We got trumpets. I'm not playing Old World after this game, no. All right, if we, very likely we'll start another one of these. Persia wants to ally, you bet. Okay, now I'm at war with France, I guess. Academy of Science, Police Department, Shopping Center. Sure. I should micro my people, but next game, right? Okay. I do not play this off stream. Oh, French just wiped out my outpost. Thanks, Persia. War with France was like the worst thing that's happened to our empire. It's okay, I knew I was gonna be at war by allying people. But no, no call to arms. All right, we should send out some diplomatic things, probably. Let's see about an embassy there. Let's see about the embassy there. They rejected our embassy last time, or they did? Yeah, okay, let's try an embassy there. Uh, civil engineer, sure. Capital can shoot a thing. It's a lot of damage. Does an okay amount of damage. We're maxed on government points. We can go to organization. So what have we done with all these social fabric points? We have expansion cost reduced. This is border expansion. Research cost reduced. Unit upkeep cost reduced. Wealth per turn eight. And unrest reduction. Yeah, the competitive options seem very one-dimensional. Seems like there's some best-in-slot kind of stuff. France would like to piece us. Can I keep my alliance with the Aztecs? I guess it's time, to, or not the Aztecs, Persia? I guess we can find out. We're allies and they won't have an embassy. Dude, the fucking diplomacy system is absolutely the worst. Okay. 
No more diplomacy system. Remind me in next playthrough that diplomacy is only for other things. We're not even going to bother opening it. It's just pointless. It's just it's just like pure RNG. Or only decided by some factors we don't know yet and not at all fun to engage with so far. Maybe it gets better, but... shopping centers out I like the internal trade but uh not getting warehouses kind of messed that up for us huh all right we've hit the age of harmony we can maybe see some wing cons now Chief victory when 66% of the world's population follows my state religion. There's no secularism during the Age of Harmony. Generate something power to produce modern buildings and improvements. Assemble an air force to defend your region. Air units can be unlocked through research. Air fighters automatically engage any enemy air units to enter their intercept range. Air bombers can be commanded to attack enemy armies or navies from their range. Air units can spend a full turn to be rebased. So it's Civ 5 air units. Sure. Power becomes a need. Just what we needed. Another need. Revealed goods. Petroleum, rare earth, metals. Dude, I feel like we just advanced like a hundred... Like, how many years did we just advance from this tech to the last tech? So last era was horse cav or horse units and what was our tech buildings? Public universities. And now we got rare earth metals. Were there older rare earth metals before the modern era? There really aren't, right? We went from muskets to lithium batteries. All right, do we get a new government? Oh, we don't get a new... Wait, there's no new national spirits in Age of Harmony? Boo. Thought we got national spirits every era. All right, so how do we win this? We spread religion. Do we want to try to win, chat? No. I think we want to start over. All right. Um, can I do this as a poll? I think I can. Let's find out how to poll this real quick. I'll oh, write this interface. I guess I'll do it on Twitch then. Okay. You have returned. Together, manage prediction. Filthy whiskey cheers. Manage poll. Who is that? Find out in a second. All right, new poll. Try to win or restart with new knowledge. Okay. Restart. Continue. All right, let me know what you guys want there. And I had zero Baja resubbing. Thank you, bud. No third option, no third option. All right, uh, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna grab water. Let me know what you guys want and we'll continue from there. You have returned. Thank you, Clandestine Wolf.
All right, chat, got some food in front of me, but I am technically back. What do we have? Restart. Got it. Cool. Let us restart. Okay. Is there a difference between quick start and custom game? Um, maybe we experiment with killing our neighbor. Was all right. The other one was culture, right? Culture is pretty good. Let's do culture, influence. I don't think it's influence. I think it's culture or or a scout or culture. How much influence is it? You know what? I haven't tried influence. I'll try influence. Order expansion is definitely a nightmare in this game, so maybe that makes it better. Sure. Give it a try. Alright, we are playing as the Last Chance Empire. We need to make sure there's no other white empires in the game. So we wanna we want our colors to be unique. I actually like all their colors, so this is green, dark blue, light blue. Stars. It's too close to Persia. Dark red. These two can't be together. That's too close to Persia. It's way too close. Maybe okay. It's a lot of red. All right, let's try that. <clears throat> okay. I might ignore this. I don't know. I'm not. Sh I don't know. I'm reading chat. I'm being swayed back and forth. All right, we upped the map size, so maybe we'll have a little bit more room. Oh, we wanted to change their... We didn't play on Adept last time, right? We played on Master. Do we want to play on Grandmaster? Oftentimes, the 4X games where the AIs are not very well developed, the di highest difficulty is just really tedious. It tends to be insanely spammy. I guess the question is, do we want it to be something else? Do master again. All right. I think that's a bold move by the dev to make the, the start game sound be this really clunky sounding winch noise, which is how I feel about the systems in this game. Okay. 
Well, there's flat land. I'm surprisingly excited by just raw flat land. Let's enjoy, let's attempt to enjoy this playthrough. Yep, the surrounding forest, like a town in there seems great. Tons of production, tons of tiles over here. It does seem like a very nice start. Which is weird because this would not be a nice start by many other, um, other 4X games, right? Because you would have two resource nodes and a bunch of un unbonused resource tiles. So it would be a weak start, but this looks very good here. All right. Let's see if I remember anything about the early game. What are my building options to start? Walls, governor experience, border expansion. What am I gonna do PK again? I don't know, man. It's a lot of hours, commitment. I'm not sure I have all that much to chit chat about. Jizz has been reaching out recently. I maybe we'll do it again. I don't know yet. Where's my free scout? Oh, I didn't take it. I took culture. All right. And our options to begin with are plantation for improvements. We already get these, right? Yeah, these are already worth two food. I only have one grass on them. Oh, I've got four grass on, right? Oh, there's four slots. Okay. So we already work in two food. And the secondary parts of this are wealth or wealth. This is rice, not grain. I don't think farming is actually that good for us. What else does it give us? Food stockpile, which is kind of nice later. And plantation, which I don't care about. Defenses are too early. Tribal elders are too early. So it's scout versus workers. I think workers, I want something specific. Clay pits are fine. This seems like an easy scouting for me. Yeah, but rice becomes flour later. Doesn't become flour now. All right. Let's bring this guy down this way. And this guy down this way. Fences for Tempo Archer. Does Farm on River give anything? I have not seen any water related bonuses yet. So I don't know if that is actually true that Farms on River do anything. This is a 6 of 10 scout. Compared to what? What, what, is, what does 6 of 10 mean here? Plus one food on Farms on River. There's no tooltip. Well, farms are not a great resource, although obviously having plus one food early is pretty decent when you have so little. Are there other decisions to make? Yeah, what we're building. I mean, what does it get to if I build it as opposed to if I do this and set growth in four? Oh, dude, this not being on the same page, All right? So it gives me a turn off there and adds. Ah. So we're growing. Does hunting camp get food bonuses from uh, from river? Is there any way to know that? Uh, where do I see my improvements to here? We don't know, do we? Okay. No bonus for camp. All right. So I think this is a reasonable first turn. There's no government decisions to be made. We've moved our units around to look around. We've chosen scouting as a tech. What else is in scouting as a tech? Scout tower. And towns in deep forest actually sounds very good. Okay. We're wanting goody huts early. They were super valuable last time. So this is water down here. Goody hut there. Nothing else to do this turn. We can't rush this scout, right? Where are my resources? I've got two gold. And what is a rush going to cost me? Can't even rush. Either not available or not seeing the interface for it. 
Yeah, scouting and undoing always feels really bad to me. I like undo commands, but I like them for other reasons besides just getting the best possible move. Spawn a warband or gain military experience. Another warband right now is fine. All right, it should come in with full movement. So this guy can move to there. Some resource nodes there, and this guy can start heading over this way. Scout the coastline. All right, I didn't mess with my upkeep. I thought they were, I only have minus one from unit upkeep. What is the upkeep cost of a single warband? Nothing? 0.5. Is it not rounding then? So it's rounds to the nearest. Okay, so the third one is free. Okay, that means probably the scout's gonna make us cost one more. Okay, culture next turn and research in four. All right. Barb just got, Barb attacked us, so be it. Let's move there. I do have to remember that the base can be vulnerable to Barb, so I don't go too far with these warbands, but I wanna find more goody huts. Borders to a city state there. I did not, I, <laughs> always scan. I wanna right click dismiss. All right, culture power is available. This is gonna be a could town now, but we want to wait, right? So it's going to be a local reforms for regional efficiency. Next scout is we grow in one, scouts out in two. Does it change anything if we, I think we overflow this, but can we get it down to one? Yeah, I get a scout next turn and still grow in one. Let's do that. And spend government points. Good call, we're at six, plus one food or another war band. What is the amount of food we're making right now? It's four and it's modified. All right, we'll take the food. Seems like a very small amount to begin with, but pretty small yield and it should be modified, right? I didn't change anything. I was expecting that at least to go up plus one. Oh, I should, uh, you want me to update the title? Sure, I'll update the title for you, bud. If it's a big deal, just for you. Yeah. The only reason to take the food is because you need something to take the next knowledge next, for sure. And well, the other reason to take the food is it's better than a war band, right? Yeah. All right. Is there value in killing things? I can't remember. Was there a resource yielded? I think there might've been a military point rewarded for killing a thing, right? It's warband spawning, it's not even the unit. <laughs> oh, okay, that tells us a lot. They should kill themselves attacking us here. Our scout is out. Uh, let's go this way first. Okay, city's now at two. Uh, we're gonna grow again. What are we building next? I'd love another scout right now, but I don't think it's real. We get one next turn anyways, when this finishes. We get a scout when it completes. I'll have two scouts out, that's okay. Uh, border expansion useful and production useful. Government experience kind of useful too. What are we actually getting right now? Knowledge improvement points and culture. These are all good. Is it worth doing that now? Border expansion is such a pain in the ass in this game. I'm very tempted to grab that. What I want is a culture building. Next turn we can build a uh, this building, which is exploration experience. Look how building cost 23 production exploration experience. So that's a town building. All right, so currently our town production sucks, so our town buildings are going to take forever. What do we want to do about that? We want to get some goody huts, is what we want to do. Man, this should just maybe be another scout. All right. I think they can just heal. All right. I always
please get scammed. One day I'm going to remember to right click this. But not today, is not today. Let's go back to heal. Let's grab the goodie hut. There's a barb on my goodie hut. Scammed. That's the second scout from this. Let's go down this way, I guess. Tech done. Let's go ahead and choose five warfare experience. Spawn an archer. Is an archer nice right now? We can maybe kill some barb camps with an archer. The alternative is farming. We are making one improvement point per turn. Farms are kind of useful right now. We've got room for clay pits too. We're going to have good population and shitty production until we get lumber mills. What tech? Do we start with the tech together? We do. So improvement points might be useful. Oh, right. I forgot. This is not sieve. I do have probably have too much food, uh, which is we can work a little bit of production. Thanks for showing me. Waiting on one of these. 20. What tech next? Immediate improvement points, but the improvement points would be for these. When do we get to spawn a town if we want it? It would be next culture, but we probably want the yields instead. I could improve this tile immediately at 12, six turns, or we take the tech and get it immediately. It will give kill the food. It doesn't even give us extra yield, right? It just converts the yield isn't very good until we get saw pits so maybe that town is just not very exciting yet so what's the best way to get early production in our city from this this is dude why doesn't it tell me the yield of this fucking tile clay pits were just improvement points or improvement in production i don't remember i think it was improvement and production and what are the secondary resources off of off of these wealth the thing is these are I don't actually know how to tell if this is fresh water or not where does it tell me if it's fresh water that one's clearly not is this one fresh water like when the river ends on the tile neither of the resources have water So then what we would be building, we'd be building farms on here, right? Do we start with farm tech? Or is that an actual tech? I think it's an actual tech, huh? Food stockpile, plantation, farm. All right, so we either go border expansions, which are never, or when we build the dolmen, into a clay pit there. That would get us production points to come back for farms. Or we go farms first and work raw tiles for production. Mm. Only three turns for this tech. Get the regional food building too. Clay pit is only grasslands. Does that change anything for me? I mean, it's still one border expansion to do that, right? I mean, I guess I could build it currently. Maybe that does do something, because maybe one of these is better off as a clay pit to start. We need production right now, and we can't really get that. And improvements are the way that we're going to get that eventually. Let's go workers into farming, I think. I mean, the other thing would be the archer, because the archer would get us the ability to kill barb camps, which is worth some uh, some resources too. So I want to see the hill. There's a lot of hills up there. location there ok 
Okay, Seattle is at 200% food. If I unwork that and work this, are we still low? That's 188. That might actually be good enough. What was it? Two turns versus one. Was it two versus one? Yeah, it was. All right, never mind. We'll keep the two. Okay. Goody hut there. Fantastic. I need to keep this guy a little close. Let's try to sneak up on that. You're healing. I guess I could put you in the city center. We don't have unrest yet. There's no reason to put him in the city center. We got to scout out too. Let's go this way. I have to choose a new production in a minute. I don't know if there's an increased chance of goody huts near city states. It does seem like the barb city state combination tends to spawn me goody huts. So I don't know if that's a thing or not. All right. We're going to local reforms again. And the region itself has finished the scout cav. I want Dolman and food. What is Homeland? Homeland is okay. So town center's government experience. I'm not so fussed about that yet. We have workers out in two turns, the tech. We're gonna want uh, points for that. And what is the thing I'm deciding here? I want border expansion. Let's go ahead and build the Dolman. Get that ticking. Okay. Swatch to the grassland now. Uh, we didn't grow. Oh, we got scammed. It looks like the reforms ended before production finished. Is what that looks like. Which is a tooltip fail, or maybe it's the same turn. I don't know. That's a tooltip fail in my mind. If it tells me a thing is going to happen and it doesn't happen because of a thing the game could have predicted happens. All right. Another uh, civilization, sadly. Let's grab the goody hut. Exploration experience, just please. Take the hill. Grab the goody hut. Knowledge or improvement points, both pretty useful right now. What do we get if we get this? We get immediate improvement points already. Let's take the knowledge. What is five knowledge? That's a turn, we're making three. So this is five turns of improvement points and this is a turn and a half of knowledge. But the next tech we're getting is the farming tech. Which is the improvements we kind of want, huh? Hmm. I think I'm still on the improvement point plan. All right, where are we going this way? I'm annoyed there's, have I already met these guys? Like this is considered met or do I have to go into their borders? Wasn't there some value in meeting them? I can't remember what it was now. Wow, they already have 51 combat strength units here. So they're killing that. Not great. All right, pop is three in here. Let's work the production. Settler comes out of uh, exploration, I believe. We don't even have the tech for settlers or is it government's government? 30, I see. Spawn a scout at 20, volunteers there, okay. Goody hut there. Barb's there. This is a scout. Not a landmark. All right. Finished workers. Let's go for farming. Okay. What can we do right now? We have 25 improvement points. We can better we can get a clay point clay pit out. Why is it saying pasture? I was gonna say there's no place I can put a pasture. Okay, so it's not limited by that. Forester dock, clay pit, hunting camp. Culture in three. We probably want to clay pit one of these and work that over the forest. We'll lose one food, we'll gain one production point. It's not terribly exciting. 
I could place it on one of these since we're not actually that fussed about wealth and we're going to delete this later and it leaves these open for the freshwater farms let's do that let's clay pit that let's make sure we're working that we need to unwork this and work food and probably unwork this and work food yeah okay all right government uh i think we're going for a settler here in a minute it's gonna fuck up our growth is that our improvement points or knowledge knowledge would be really nice i might take that knowledge before settling i don't know yet we'll see all right two barbs slam on our unit it's a problem another city state another barb camp I want to do the landmark. I'm going to attack once and then go there next turn. I have 10 movement left. Can I explore the landmark? Discover I can. All right. All right, this unit is healed. Barb's down there. There's a little bit more exploration to do over here though. So he's at pop three, we're building a dolmen. We probably want to build the food building next, which is still locked, It'll unlock behind farming. We are teching farming, right? Yeah, okay. 20 explorations, another scout if we want it. Is there anything else we could do with early exploration points? We can't, right? All right, let's go up this way. How the previous game end? We got to era six and decided we were all done with that particular playthrough. Chat voted on a restart to update with the knowledge we have now. I think that was a pretty good call. I do want this unit looping back around. That's what I wanted though. Another goody huts. Production or 50 wealth. 50 wealth, not meaningless right now. How is production comparatively? What is five production? Dude, why can I not enter my city during this, this fucking pop-up? I just want to know what this is, va the value of this. I guess I, can I back, I can't back up the decision either. I, I guess, I don't know what the base yield of a city is. We're making one off that. We're not working any forest tiles. It's probably pretty significant. I bet you we're probably like base three or four. It's probably like a turn of production. All right, we'll take it and see. Our production was nine, so it was half a turn. So it was under than what we thought. So base is three, I guess. Oh, maybe the nine is just this turn. The five is miscellaneous. So we're probably making four. Okay. Unclear to me why that knowledge is hidden, but whatever. I don't want to get harassed by barbs, but I want to go there. Okay. Yeah, it is very bizarre to be able to minimize the panel, but not to be able to do anything with it while it's minimized. Government experience seems super valuable right now. We'll take that. All right, we have the option of a government tech or a settler. I want to grab knowledge. So I'm going to do that. Run from the barb, keep exploring. Goody hut there. This unit's getting pretty beat up. I, it might die, I'm not sure. we're gonna learn all right tech done we can go next era shouldn't I see who's teching the next era right now or does that not tell me till I meet them we have workers scouting and farming done we could get an archer right now which one it would be the worst there's a tech building that we can't afford right now or we can go age of bronze upside of age of bronze is we get our first um, national spirit right I believe research overflows, so I shouldn't have to do it in that order. All right, we're at three pop here, growing next turn. Used all my units. We have zero exploration, six warfare, which I can't do anything with. Tribal's at 14, but we're saving for a settler. Uh, so I think we're good, okay. Research does not overflow, I believe. 
Okay. All right, I'm at Persia. Did my unit die? It looks like a dead unit. Boo. Okay. And the tile I want to move to is blocked by a barb. Rip. All right. All right, more governments, great. Eureka, raise army, local reforms. So we are next to the age. We could Eureka to make that faster, but it doesn't seem like it's that necessary if we're already gonna be first there. So probably local reforms again. We can settle our next, it's a couple turns off, two turns off if we want another settler. It will decrease our pop by one. We're still not going for five turns still. We have farm tech now though, right? We got that last turn, I didn't remember. We should probably sort that out. These wants to be upgraded farms. So let's do that. Get at least one, we have 22 of 24. All right. Farm gives us three food. I thought I was supposed to get extra for being on water, but I don't think it is. A wheat is just normally three food, right? Or is wheat normally two food? Click on the farm tile. River is present plus one food. Oh, I see. So it's just... <laughs> so the yield doesn't show here, despite there being extra yield there. It shows here, doesn't show here. Can they get their fucking shit together with where they give me information as a user so I can have this in some sort of central location so I don't have to check eight different things to find the information I want? Especially in a game all about micromanaging the tiles. Do I really have to fucking find it that way? That's so irritating. All right, uh, food stockpile decent. Lookout okay if we're gonna go the government, the spirit choice that requires exploration experience. And town center for government experience useful too, but let's grow growth to offset the loss. I mean, this is basically, this is six turns to build a farm. Is that worth? Probably. All right. Can expand again next turn. What was, there was another decision I was trying to make. What was it? Uh, the culture. Let's go ahead and local reforms this again. Alright, the scout is running. Scouting while running, of course, but still running. Alright, let's get away from this barb. I don't know if I want to meet these guys. I guess for some reason not to. Another undiscovered landmark. We have no scouts to explore it right now, which is kind of, I did not mean to end turn there. Fuck, I hate that. The unit cycling ending with end turn. We just missed uh, an improvement. So we missed uh, another two yield for that turn. All right, do need a scout down here. When's my next 20 exploration? We don't know. If an auto save, we can reload. I don't want to have to reload for that. Spawn a scout cav or spawn exploration, which I'm gonna use for a scout cav anyways. Let's take a scout cav. Let's move our new scout cav back. Go this way. All right, I want this one to come back. Do I? Yeah, probably. Okay. Try to do all your admin before unit moves. I think it's backwards though, right? You get resources off your unit moves. Why are you doing your admin first? 
quick end turn. All right. Uh, we want a second farm. We did just grow. We get a settler. No, we can get a settler this turn if we want it. So what we want to do is improve this tile with the farm. I want to make sure we're working both farms in the clay pit. And we're going to build a settler it's on the side with all my units. Where do we want to settle? So the resource nodes are less important than they seem, especially resources like this that don't upgrade well. Mostly what we want is space and flat tiles. Thinking right there, right on the, sh uh, the deer. Can I settle on a bonus resource chat? Do you guys know? This is double wheat for growth, which is pretty nice. Decent like uh, forest town in there for production. It's really far away from my cap, which is nice. Tile must be empty. Fuck that. It's a much less nice tile. All right, uh, let's spawn a settler. Let's make sure we're working the right tiles. We are. Settler can move this turn. I think I'm going there. There might be another spot too. I guess we could have a look. Let's take a little bit better look, I suppose. Where else might we want to settle? It's nice space in here. It'd be nice to control this before they get here. My border, I'd love my capital to grow to these tiles. It's a little bit close. This looks really bad. It's all hills. Hills are bad in this game thus far. There's some stuff over here, but it's pretty far away. There's some stuff up there, but it's really heavily covered with hunting camps, which don't do anything unless I take the, the race that could take advantage of those. I could do that. We did that last playthrough. You like the olives? I feel like this is both fairly close to my cap, although not insanely close, and also olives were a little bit slow to get going. But it could be like right there. I could see that for the immediate growth and that. I kind of want the immediate growth is all. I think I'm going there. Early growth seems very strong. Okay. All right, I think that's good enough. All right, military unit back this way. Continue move. There's a fucking barb camp. I guess I'd back it up when I encounter things like that. Could I bait the barb? Uh, maybe? I guess I have to go next to it, so I'd have to go there. I can't move into deep forest yet. What's the tech that lets me move into deep forest? Scouting. Oh, I can move. I just don't have the action points. Okay. Do I want more information around here? I don't know. I want to find goodie huts. All right, research next turn, Age of Bronze next turn, culture in a couple turns. Can't do anything with these points yet. Tiles are assigned appropriately. Growing in three, okay. Still ignoring early production from forest. Mind your own business. All right. What do we have on improvement points? get a hunting camp but nothing else so we'll wait all right hit the era all right new national spirits vassal integration faster barb warlords i forgot that we spawn f f stronger barbs here innovation and chaos events may appear trading diplomatic envoys okay
I want to go there. Everything else is much slower, but I can't protect that. Maybe we could kill the barb? Or weaken it enough that the scout would be okay? Checking for. I don't know how to be more clear with you. I'm not interested in some random guy showing up and backseating me from a previous playthrough. It's just not very interesting at all. Do you have any idea right now when you're not when you can't see the screen right now? Do you have any idea what tiles I'm working in my in my capital? Do you know where I'm getting my production from or any of the decisions we've made? Or are you just randomly shouting out? Am I still ignoring things that should not be ignored? Just, just think about how you come off with that, right? Like, I don't want to listen to it. Are you enjoying being a dick for no reason? If that's not your intention, choose different fucking words. If it is your intention, fuck off, you know? Like, where are we at there? We may very well upgrade a forest at some point. Our sequence of upgrades thus far has been grow enough to get a settler, get some improvement points so we can actually take advantage of things. We talked already about forest production. Forest production loses you the a forest is already two yield to begin with. Converting it into a lumber location keeps it two yield. You just swap one food for one production. It doesn't actually get good until we get the first improvement available, the saw pit, and we don't have the population to do that. So it's just not a good idea right now. So, you know, like, <laughs> I don't know what else we can do with that. All right. I think elders make some sense. Getting a knowledge production building seems valuable. I guess it's up against, is there a first tier thing we might want? Maybe a military unit? Do we get a free military unit here? We don't. Spears might be good though. And I think our units upgrade into that. Do our warriors, our raw warriors upgrade into that? I think they might. Possibly. Hmm. We're gonna need something for the barbs and I kinda wanna clear some camps. I got these units wandering around. I think they upgrade with military points, which we don't have a lot of. I don't know what our first tech wants to be here. Do we have enough building things to do in our city that we're not gonna wanna build the finished food stockpile this turn? Town center, we got enough building we'd rather build first, right? All right, let's go ahead and attempt to do that then. So let's, and the other thing we could do is get a free archer, which is similar to that, honestly, and what it's doing. Let's grab discipline though. Okay. All right, uh, Palisade Walls, Town Center for Government Experience. Did we get our news? We haven't chosen it yet. Let's choose one of these two, I suppose, is gonna be relevant to this decision. Ancient seafarers, naturalists, wild hunters, raiders, warriors, god king, mound builders, and Olympians. So there's something to be said about wild hunters with like terrain like that around. We did them last time. Exploration was fairly easy to generate. It was self-fulfilling too. Like their improvements generated more exploration, which fed more of their stuff. So that's a little bit interesting. What other ones were there? Seafarers are... Docks provide production I feel like there's a ton of resources in the water it might be nice with the the shipwrecks it might be nice to get exploring for that utility ship movement defense and sight range I didn't really like utility ships cheaper utility ships more defensive utility ships what were shells just wealth wealth does not seem very valuable to me although we should experiment a bit more with rushing this time 
Naturalists are unimproved tiles. Seemed very bad for me in general. These course, okay. Forest people would be reduction of expansion of borders into forests is kind of nice. Warband multiplier in forests, but only warbands it looks like. And if we go spears, we're immediately going to get rid of warbands. But we could go forest people, capital housing is fine. Housing improvements generate additional food considered, considered garden houses. Houses were a kind of weak improvement. I think they got replaced later, so I'm not sure I want food for that. Minus forest movement cost is fine. Culture from forging unimproved tiles seems bad. I mean, it seems like there'd be a lot, but I don't feel like unimproved tiles are the way to go. We have a very limited number of workers right now. It doesn't seem great. Wild Hunter is the one we did. What were, okay, so seafarers, raiders, and warriors. Spawning units all the time is kind of nice. What were raider bands the equivalent of? 1211. What is the unit we were teching? The spear unit is 1116. So they're like slightly, they're, they're worse than spears. Although that's still okay. Especially because you get so many. Might be nice to vassalize some city states and take out all these barb camps. They seemed very strong. I'm a little worried they're too strong though. They seemed too strong when we checked them out before. Like it might be just a little bit cheesy to play them. Wait, you can fortify? I didn't know there was a fortifying. Experience from guarding is interesting. I just don't know what you do with it. These seem kind of weak by and large. I mean, there is a free spawn here again though with the Spartans. It's nice that it's off military experience too. You can get these from fighting. Might be nice to try them. We haven't played them yet either. I liked both of these. Although I preferred the Mound Builders to the God King. Mound Builders were good. And I think these were pretty useless, right? I mean, getting Envoys out would be okay, I suppose. These don't seem good to me, though. So I think safe options are raiders or mound builders or wild hunters, I think. I think slightly less safe options, but still reasonable are ancient seafarers or warriors. So what do we want, chat? Oops, strong button. What do you guys want? So either here, 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 here or there. <laughs> yeah, warfare experience early does seem nice, although exploration experience. So the thing is the seafarers here, which are these guys, are not seafarers, the wild hunters, these guys generate um, exploration experience from their own thing. You guys are like yellow and yellow. So these guys kind of feed their own upgrades, which is kind of nice. But I guess that's true of the Raiders and the Warriors, too. They also feed their own upgrades. We did mound like our first or second game. Not a lot of obvious targets for early aggression. I think that's wrong. I think we have um, two city-states over here, right? Barbs and city-states. So I don't mind eating a city-state. I also don't mind not having to build my own military units. It would kind of be nice. Kind of tough to get the summaries of these. Kind of have to, again, this is another UI problem, isn't it? It's very difficult to get the summary of what these things are doing. Yes, I can go into each tree, but then I have to keep competitively in my head nine trees or something. What is this? This is not nine. This is eight trees. And I have to do it for every era. Capital won't be able to take any advantage of these at all, sadly. I don't think it's this one.
I'm willing to try Warriors. We haven't played them yet. Let's do it. I want this one. How close to 25 are we? We have no idea. Let's take that, though. All right. So we made a decision. The decision was mostly because I haven't played them yet. Whether or not that's worth it, I don't know. All right. What are we doing for the rest of this? Could get improvement points again. I don't know exactly what I want for that readout. I just want to not have to spend as much time searching for information. So we actually did get the Spartan on spawn. That's kind of nice. All right, let's go over there. How do we get warrior experience through fighting, huh? Okay. Spartans from warriors doesn't spawn via warfare domain, but culture. All right, food stockpile done. Palisade walls, city guard, war band. We can choose a different tech now. We don't have to go discipline because we got this from somewhere else. What would we rather have? I wasn't very impressed with religion. Our first expand is gonna be here. So it's not gonna have an immediate water tile. Although it could be there and we get immediate water tiles. I feel like getting a boat out early would be huge. Did the first level boat have deep water access? Galley. What is a galley? How do I tell if a unit has deep water? No deep water for first tier. Okay. Well, I'm not interested until I get deep water, I don't think. So the other options are pioneers were great. Do I get the ability to build outposts immediately? I do, but they're not castles yet, right? And the stone cutter gives us engineering. How do we get stone? It's a quarry. So it's quarry into stone cutter and it gives us production and engineering. Acquires hills, which we don't have yet, but we could make another expand for hills. We might need to just do a quarry town. We could try specializing towns chat and seeing if we can actually make a specialized town that doesn't have to have all its own shit. That might be interesting for this playthrough. So let's try, I don't think we want that yet. This is maybe a second or third tech in here. What else might be good in here? So shipbuilding was out, mining's later. Officials gives us an envoy, which wouldn't be the worst. Gives us claim territory, which is pretty expensive. I don't want bribe, I don't want market. Market is foreign import slot. That's not terrible. Hello, Ratatouille. Community gives us rushing kilns. Mills, wheat or rice to flour. Saw pit for the lumber towns and cranes for improvements. That's gonna be valuable. I don't know if it's valuable immediately or not. Grapes and rice to wine, culture and knowledge building is kind of nice. Diplomacy experience and weaver. What was the one that gave us olive? Olives gave is it this one? Is it the weaver that does that? No, that's going to be what it was the press. Where was the press? Future era, maybe. Press is top left belief. It's this thing. I see. I do want an olive expand. I think we're gonna go knowledge though. Let's grab tribal elders for one turn and then build the knowledge building. Right now we're only making four knowledge. So that's a huge amount of science, like getting that library up. All right, um, we want a one turn build ideally, which we obviously don't have. We could levy workers for a turn to go straight into the knowledge building, or we could try to build something else. Work camp gives us engineering experience, which is really nice. It's 12 turns, which is forever. Encampment gives us warfare experience, which is also useful. Although hypothetically we generate our own warfare experience. Diplomacy, lookout, town centers, government. Uh, government gets us what again? Really not that much. 
What are we likely going to be doing? We're likely going to be planting a town in here for a production town. One of these, I don't know which yet. We're going to try to border expand naturally to more growth tiles. Which is, shouldn't be that long with a dolmen. Yeah, it's probably another five turns to border expand. So that will be our growth. And this will be our production. Although, obviously, we're going to need saw camps for that, which is another tech. There's food in here. The other thing is, what, what takes wheat? Wheat conversion is in oven but what's the one before oven probably some sort of mill huh uh, what is the mill it's not these God. even if it just wrote the word it would be easier here here I have to memorize all the pictures saw pit there's a mill it's in community So what is the ordering? Are those too close to each other? They might be. I don't know if I can even expand this close to the city. Can I remove the city? Or is the city... Th I can't burn it, right? So it's going to be there. Brown cities can die. Does die mean remove? Hmm. That's kind of exciting. I just don't know if I'm gonna have time for this tech building. I think I want the tech building before anything else though. So I think we want to spend a turn doing something else. Let's spend a turn for levying workers. And I think we're good for the turn. Is the warband useful? I don't think so. This might be useful though. Okay. All right, they did ignore my worker, which is nice. The scout looks like its morale broke and it ran, I think is what that movement means. Jesus, this is a lot of barbs to get to where I want to go, though. All right, why do I have a warrior here? Because it's just been here. Let's go here and explore that. Combat experience out of that too. This unit's coming back. I wanted to go to that goodie hut, but there's no way. All right, finish the tech I wanted. Let's hold off the signing that quite yet. Let's switch production over to the tech building, which I thought was going to be a lot closer than 10 fucking turns. Maybe we can't afford that tech building. Production, our cap is still really bad at three. How many? We have 14 improvement points. And we grow next turn. All right, we are gonna want, we're gonna want a lot of things. Is there any culture anywhere? So the problem is our culture is gonna get multi-taxed, right? Wait, I thought I could do the spawn a Spartan thing. Can I not do that? We get a cultural power to do it. So this is what we're gonna want. It's 25 for this. The next exploration site gets us closer to that. 
We aren't there yet. We need eight. We're not generating any warfare experience right now, right? We're generating one. 25 government experience gives me two culture by reforming tribal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going for that when we can. These are 10 turn builds though. They're gonna be like seven turn builds. So the question is science first, government experience first, military experience first, or production first with engineering. I think I want engineering. Is that weird? Like I want government for a thing right now. I want government to get me culture faster, culture to get me expansions faster. I need government for settlers too. Maybe I have to have government. I was thinking I was just gonna go drop a pioneer. There's borders there. Drop a pioneer somewhere. Certainly our production is painful, but population will help with production. It is nice to build a production building before building a bunch of buildings though. And we are quite overwhelmed with the number of things. There are quite a lot of things to build right now. Unfortunately, it's also the least immediate of all the things, right? Like government center for seven is actually pretty dirt cheap. And we need it for two costs. We need it for both culture and our next settler. Nah, I'm gonna build the government center. I, I really would like to build the production building, but I think I'm gonna go government center first. I'm, I'm really torn on this though, so. All right, what's next tech-wise? Anything that gives us immediate yields that could be useful. We can get an immediate archer. Seems less useful. The immediate pioneer could be quite useful. It's a thing I don't have to spend a resource on once I've teched that gives me more resources back. Let's grab that. Defense gives warfare points. That's a fair thing. Two turns, actually that's pretty good then. Two turns helps us get our ability to spawn the Spartans, right? That's actually a good suggestion. Okay. Any obvious pioneer locations? I guess the other problem with pioneers is they cost, um, they cost engineering points to, no, they cost improvement points to upgrade, right? Which we don't have yet. All right. So I think it's a full action for a settler to expand, right? Can't remember that though. Let's move there. Yeah, it is. So 15 combat strength barb there. Uh, I should move a unit on top of that. They're both wounded. It kind of needs to be both, but I want to send one down there. I think it has to be both suddenly. Do I want to send the Spartan over there or over here? I think I want to clear the barb camp and that barb camp. So it's probably up this way. Okay. How's gold? We're actually negative gold right now from unit upkeep. That's a bit of a problem. Not sure exactly what we can do about that. Delete some scouts, which I don't want to do. I want to go to here. Okay. All right. Tribal is nowhere near what we want. Weirs are 21 of 25. We should get it next turn off defenses to spawn the Spartans. There is an upgrade that makes them cheaper. Okay. I could possibly build a plantation, that's true. Actually, we're at 16 resources too and we grew. It might actually be a good turn to build that. We're just working out forest tile, which is one production, which is not nothing, but wealth is actually pretty good right now when we're negative. All right, we'll do that. Should help with growth anyways, right? Well, growth is gonna be overworked though. If we take one of these out, no, nope, we need it. Okay, cool. All right, let's upkeep on Spartans. I don't know, I gotta look. 
I'm building them anyways. That's my military plan, but so it doesn't really matter. But it would be nice to know. Three. It costs three per. So we're gonna get another six upkeep cost. It's gonna be a lot. All right, let's settle this. All right, I forgot that they start as a vassal. But so be it. All right. Let's move to there. Attack that, I suppose. All right, what is this? This is the archer. Didn't necessarily want another military unit, but here we are. All right, we have a lot of military units right now. There is a, there's defenders in the city, right? So I don't have to keep the scouts here. All right, let's move one scout to there. And one scout to there. Goody hut, nice. Another goody hut. Let's hope we survive. All right, finish this tech. Not sure if there's defenders until the city is actually built. Isn't it built when I plant it? Let's hope there is. It's gonna be a nasty if it isn't. All right, we wanna grab mining, community, and belief, right? Start with mining. See if we can do something with that pioneer, at least send it out. Okay. Border expansion, hey. Did not kill the scout, great. Should get this first. What are we at? We have culture ready. And research is assigned. I want to use, and we're at 31, so we can take the tech to. Can we afford to have another six upkeep right now? Your units start unspawning when your upkeep hits a certain point. Like when you go negative gold. I don't think we have a ton of other gold options right now either. I really would like to, I don't have it yet. I have to take it in a second. Is my culture, my culture is not wasted if I take this, right? But I can't, I can't spawn. If I, if I take the no upkeep cost, I can't spawn a Spartan now. Let's grab this. Interesting. Warfare experience is super valuable, right? Cause this is our ability. Now we can maybe take them both. Yeah. All right, let's grab them both. All right, that will make this so we can spawn what we want. Let's go ahead and use culture to spawn Spartans. And I can spawn them here. Seems pretty sick. Yeah, goody huts. Oh, there's a barb there. Hold on, I don't want to go back then. That's going to kill. God damn it, I'm going to lose this scout here. Oh, this guy hasn't moved. How fast are these? Two. So we could go there and it can't get to us, right? Perfect. Okay, back to the city center here. We might have to defend. All right, uh, I need these out of my way. So what is this? This is warrior, Spartan, warrior, right? Is there any benefit in killing with the Spartan? Is there individual unit experience? There is, right? So let's attack. Oh, can we clear this camp too? Let's move them there. Let's attack the camp. Should have looked at predictions, I suppose. How did it go? I do not know. Oh, do I not? I didn't get the tile. Oh no, I didn't know that. That's pretty nasty. All right, another goodie hut. Innovation right now. could wait on the government one till we got our first one or 10 tech 10 tech is pretty sick too dude i wish i could open these why are these locked when this is up i don't remember the cost of the last government 
think it was 25, but it might have been 35. Let's take the innovation. All right, city looks good. We're at four pop. Uh, how are our improvement points? Improvement points are at five. I think that looks good then. Anything else we can do this turn? We used our culture ability. We have a tech going up. Government requires this. We're at 20 innovation per turn. Exploration. Scouts 24, warriors are, so we're done, okay. Okay. All right, we're being sieged in here. Let's clear this. Cause I don't have to send all of them. Do I wanna do something different? Can I see how much damage they're gonna do? Okay, the combat prediction says, combat prediction, win, doubt, light, damn. Okay, let's just try that. Got it. We can take 10 improvement points or 100 wealth right now. Wealth suddenly got less important, right? I might need the wealth to burn this town. Did someone say I had to have wealth to kill the town? But improvement points are great. What do I need to vassalize the city? That's also government points, right? I'll get wealth. All right, let's take the improvement points then. All right, uh, let's clear this out. Okay. Uh, this barb is dead if uh, the scout is dead if we leave it. We can teleport it home though. So let's do that. Uh, city is has grown again. Clay pit four. No, at four. Growing next turn. Three turns on the town center. Barb's killing themselves, fantastic. Are warriors valuable to us right now? I really don't know. So this Barb general is hanging out. We wanna go there and discover the landmark for resources. All right, I didn't wanna click that. Can clear this out, any reason not to. I want my Spartan dream team over here. Let's back these guys. I, I guess I don't really care if they take the damage, do I? I guess I do. Let's hang them out there. Let's go there. Not what I wanted to do. Don't see it. care about the log. Okay. All right, what is the next tech we might want on the warrior tree? Spartan defense. Improved defenses and defense when fortified, okay. Barb there, hills there. I wanna go this way though. I guess we're gonna take one hit to move past that. All right, the Barb's chilling there. What is, I think, chill here. Is this Fortify? Do you think Guard is also Fortify? I've never seen a Fortify action. Could be. Um, I'll leave the Scout in there for this fight, but I want the Scout out of there eventually. All right, a million turns on Culture. Government at 22 of 25. Do we want to take improvement points first? We got a little bit of time before our next government. Might be too greedy saving up for this, honestly. Although the culture yield is really good. We just want our first one to trigger. 
How much are we making per turn? Two? We want a settler too. I think we're just waiting. Fortifies hasn't moved, okay. China threatening me. Okay. Alright, what happened to this scout? Oh, I guess I'll do it in the order they want me to do it. There's a unit there. I want to go clear the camp. I want my Spartans clearing the camp, which is there. Let's also send that unit. Army size is three right now, right? So we'll wait there. It seems fine. Back this unit up into there. Okay. Let's go that way. Is he pillaging my tiles or just standing on them? He's pillaging. What an asshole. It's so annoying when your tiles get pillaged. Uh, it's a million years before we can spawn another one. What happens if we attack him right now? The city itself doesn't attack, but the city itself helps me defend. Is that right? I think that's right. So I don't, I guess our unit strength is 33. So we're gonna take some damage here. I think it's enough to lose a unit. Well, not a good round for us, I gotta say. <laughs> Let's hope that's not enough to lose the unit. Do we also heal there? I don't know. Looks like we're not going to heal here, so he probably just kills them all. Oh, he killed himself. Fantastic. All right. Uh, these guys can attack that. We're going to go after this camp. All right. These units are fine. They looks like they did heal, too. I don't know when. Or if the city protected them. I'm actually, maybe I should have looked at the combat log on that one. Uh, I think we want to rebuild our farm. 18 points after that. So we work in the farm two farm, one plantation, one clay pit, one forest. These guys can heal. Uh, say that, but uh, dude, I did not want to see this summary again. All right, you can move. Where do we want this next scout going? Probably over here, right? China might try to kill my scout though. Let's go there and wait. You can just chill there. Goody huts. You know, maybe there is something to be said about, um, I'm enjoying this playthrough more than I was enjoying last one, but I, I like the early game more anyways. Okay, we hit our town center, so more government production. I do think the next thing we need to build is that work camp. So let's get that started. We could take government right now, but I don't think we want to, right? Because there's two other things we're going to want to do. We're going to want to incorporate this guy in five turns, and we're going to want to spawn another settler. And right now we're already at plus 20 for innovation. So I do want the culture, but I kind of want to wait until the event triggers to get the innovation value. I mean, we could go to plus 30 and then we'll be at plus 10. Otherwise we let it trigger and what happens? We go to seven and we go to 17. I think I'd rather be at 17. I think. Could spawn another scout. Uh, what are we doing with our tech tree? 35 for our next one. It's probably just this one, huh? Okay. What do we get past this experience gain from guarding? Heal an injured army in friendly territory at full health with warfare domain. Doesn't seem great. So it's probably this one and that one. What does this have five Spartans? Okay, so we need to spawn another set of Spartans. Can I build them as well? Or are they only a spawn? Looks like they're only a spawn. What the fuck is a dugout canoe? 
right. All right, Spartans attack for 31. Does defense matter in when I'm attacking? I think it does, but I guess I'm not 100% sure on that. I could watch the logs maybe. I don't have it yet, 35. Dude, these barbs. <laughs> They're like, we block him getting to the camp. Okay. Don't want to go up there. It's all borders closed, so I doubt it. All right, warfare or engineering? That one's tricky, because we could literally take our next tech here. Engineering uh, is very difficult for us to generate though, and this is a lot. I think I'd rather take that, but it was very tempting. Okay. All right, like one turn of healing here. Why am I? Oh, the city's just not healed yet. I see. All right, let's clear that. Engineering experience again. Sweet. More barbs over there. Is that a boat? It's a barb boat. I don't know if I can interact with barb boats. What am I doing with this? I guess this would really like to come over here. I, I don't know where I need these guards. I need them in both cities. I guess I'll go here and just chill. All right, 35 for our next upgrade there. What can I do with this early engineering? We can spawn a pioneer, we can expand a town, we can take public improvements. I don't want any of those quite yet. Public improvements would be nice. We're at 20 improvement points, pop is five. We would probably like to improve something here. Are we waiting on the next tech? Next tech is mining. There's no mining resources in here. Spawning a pioneer out there for these cities is going to take a bazillion improvement points. So there's something to be said about that. We can integrate this guy in two turns. That's going to be our government points gone. We kind of want production in this city. It could be time for that lumber mill. But we kind of need food too. It could also be time for another farm. We're at 170, so we're not even at max food yet. Seems like another growth tile here is pretty good. Just another farm then, I suppose. Another river farm. Okay. Kind of need an anti barb team over here. All right, let's go ahead and build a farm here. Let's work our third farm. Looks good. Growth back to 200. Do I have community tech? Not yet. Oh, their borders expand and pushed me out when I'm trying to move through it. That's so irritating. Can I get open borders from them? Let's try. Because the barb, of course, is just sitting there. So I need to bait him. To get off that tile. So I need to go here and wait. All right, I know what I want this team to do. I want this team to go kill this city. Do I also want to explore? I think I can send a warrior to explore. So let's head down. What's the quickest way to get down here? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Let's go here and explore the landmark. And all right, wanted to scout down this way, right? Okay. Oh, I did not mean to click end turn. God, I hate that with the unit cycling. Ah, okay. All right. Prompt, prompt our prompt, procked even our innovation. Spartans t plus ten movement. Sure. Rejected open borders. Declared hostilities. All 
All right, you can chill. Barb did not move towards us. Is the camp gone? He just took the camp. That's annoying. Okay. Goody cut there. Okay, I almost clicked end turn again. All right, we have 35 warfare points. Let's grab Spartan defense. We have city at six. Let's grab either a production building for it. Still needs food again. Could be another farm. I think we have the improvement points for it. I mean, we're gonna get a pretty nice, I guess we'd never put a town here because it's in my own borders. Would we put a town here though? We get, can we put forests on Scrubland? I actually don't know. We cannot. Tech in one turn. I want a settler, which we can afford now. And I can integrate this if I want to do this now too. So this is minus culture. Maybe we settle first before integrating the vassal. Is this, this is good growth and it can't improve them at all. Can I improve this? No, I can't, I have no control apparently. Does it make improvements as a vassal? Or does it just do nothing and sit there? They do, but slowly. We have our innovation. There's some value in another innovation right now. There's some value in a settlement getting going. As a, we have a lot of value in culture. We want to spawn at least one more set of Spartans to get our five for the end of the tribal thing here. It's not there. It's the end of the tribal thing here. Oh, we get two culture from reformed right now. This would be the turn to do it. I guess two culture is actually a really big deal. Yeah, I think I will take that. So I was wondering at the order, but I think you're right. The culture portion of this makes this really appealing since that limits all the other stuff. All right, so that means we have this population around for a little bit. We want another growth tile, so it's gonna be another farm. I guess it makes sense the river farm first. Let's work that. We're still 200. We now need housing. Uh, what's housing cost us? It's just whatever we wanna build, right? Civic dwelling is 10, we're at zero of two. Fire that off. All right, barbarians in my way. Let's ignore them and keep going. 142 combat strength, supposedly on these Spartans. You have returned. Uh, yeah, I can move my camera around a little bit. No problem for that. Let's see, what are I'm behind my improvement points? Yep. Uh, not that one. Fuck, I wish there was an undo on movement here. What are we sitting on for this? We want it like basically there, right? Okay, and then this is there. You guys see improvement now? I think you deflated Platypus. Chat, was I unnecessarily, I don't know. Was I unnecessarily rude to that uh, YouTube guy who was being a dick? Or is it the appropriate amount of rudeness? Can't decide. No, that's my style. It just seemed like such a fucking shitty uh, comment. Like so clearly designed to be a dick. I hate letting I hate letting something like that just float, you know? All right, where do we want to send this mining unit? I feel like this selection of hills is perfect, right? You don't really want to settle a city on a selection of hills because it never grows, but it's a really good outpost position. 
Yeah, it feels bad for a new person to get like that kind of treatment, but also, do we want people like that around? I don't know. If you wanted the interaction you got, that might be true. So we would place it as far away as possible on hill. So it'd be like there or there. I guess it'd be there. Unless they were going to build a town in there. Can you mine with the pioneer effect going at bonus resources? Oh, you're right. It is only bonus resources. And then the flat land of the other things. So that's actually, the hills are just no good. So just this, this hills is just useless, huh? Oh, I see. If I wanted to integrate the outpost, I wasn't planning to it. I was going to use it as an external resource thing. But honestly, right now it's too early anyways. We don't have the improvement point generation to take advantage of this. I think I'm settling over here. I think I'm going to kill this town and settle over here. Begs the question, what do we do with the pioneer? Doesn't seem to have upkeep, actually. So... Maybe we don't have to do anything. Maybe we just leave it for now. It does have 30 combat. It does have some combat strength, right? No, it's non-combat. Where do we want to send this then? Man, I was definitely thinking of this. These are not valuable long-term yields without anything else. So... Maybe it is over here. Maybe we end up settling the other side of Brasilia, like on this side somewhere, and we use this as an outpost. The problem is you can't settle on top of one of these resources. So like a, um, a diamond like this is bad for us. We really want either an, a hollow hexagon or we want a ring. We can't do that here. I think I can outpost on woods, I think. I'm not 100% sure on that though. Let me read if it tells me. Territory owner is neutral. Location is empty. I don't think woods are empty. Can I outpost on woods? Can I outpost on hills as well? That's a decent outpost. Although, I mean, it's just early food. It's not exceptionally good long term. Can I build um, the the religion buildings? Can I build them on trees as well? Only flat. Can I ever remove tiles in an outpost? Like, can I use the, because it's an, it's an exploration ability later, right? So hypothetically later, I could delete a tile in an outpost. Yeah, I know. Removing woods is super late. We got to it last playthrough. For some reason, chopping down trees is something humans have been doing for... I don't even know how long. Basically, as long as we've been fucking human. Is, uh... Not available till like, tech 6 of 10. I mean, that tile right there has three adjacents around it. And it doesn't waste anything is a nice part about that. That tile there has three now. It's right on their borders. We'll piss them off. Also has no flat tiles. That one has... That one has a flat tile next to it too, and a hill, if we ever end up with that. That one seems okay. Maybe I want it there. Maybe. I mean, I'm not gonna be doing it for a while anyway, so we can move it over there and think about it, I suppose. There's a lot of barbs over here. How do I get to this without dying? Go there, eat two hits, move there, take it, teleport home. Does this require full movement? Nope. It's five of my 10 that I get from that. Could be here and hope. Maybe we can loop around. There's too many units, too many fucking barbs over here. Okay. 
All right, China chasing our unit around. So we need to end up there or we lose our unit. Okay. All right. It's funny how we got China as a neighbor again. Finished mining. We want engineering improvements. We'd like to build a town. Town's culture, and we're two away at least from building a town. Are there culture improvements in the tech tree? I mean, I'm sure there are eventually, but are there culture improvements now? Early envoy could be okay, maybe with Persia. Spend gold on culture is interesting, but we're never going to be able to afford it. Claim pretty weak for us. Belief gives a culture knowledge building. Right, there's culture on that. We already needed this for the press. That's probably good. It's up against Crane and Mill. All right, let's grab belief. Okay. I'm enjoying this opening more than I enjoyed the last opening. A little bit more game knowledge of how to put the pieces together. Okay. That's six here. Ah, hold on a minute. We do have all this wheat sitting around in the capital and not being very valuable right now. It'd be very nice to be able to, to have the conversion building for wheat. Is that here? It's not, right? It's here. Kiln, crane, saw pit, mill. Maybe it's community then, belief. All right. All right, uh, that warrior's being bothered. We don't really care. We're coming down here to attack this camp. Let's try to keep the scout safe. All right, we're gonna grab the goody hut, then teleport is the plan. All right, 20 government experience is great for us right now. And let's teleport the scout out. We may not even need, we have another movement too. We may not even need another scout. We don't have another movement. Do have another movement. We get attacked by three barbs though, right? So the scout dies. Let's try to get it home. What else are we doing with, we have almost nothing else with exploration right now. Is the tech we're getting the one that lets me buy tiles? It is not. Yeah, I might as well spend this to save the scout. All right, teleport the scout home. Okay. All right, sending the pioneer out. The scout is healing. We have another scout that's healing there. Where do we want to send this one? Over this way somewhere? Send it there then. All right, we want to dodge this guy, so let's go there. Bar blocking our expansion route is annoying. I mean, there's probably a camp up there. Maybe not. This might just be residual barbarians from the camp we cleared. It's not. There's a million more. We just lost our guy. <laughs> Can we undo the attack move? We can undo the attack move. It's kind of bizarre. All right. So there's a million barbs over there still. Let's bring this back. Let's go reinforce it. All right. We have 35 government points. We already have our innovation taken care of. We want to integrate this vassal and we want to expand. What do we want to do first? Probably expand. I don't know what it's going exactly yet, but it seems like a good time for it. Anything else we might want? We could get improvements too. We could postpone this and grab improvement points. We're definitely short improvement points and they're tough to get at the moment. Yeah. 
is there any downside to expanding? There isn't, right? It's just the it's the minus pop and the other things I could do with government points is the downside to expanding. Do they does it grow at a reasonable rate? Do I know? 4% per turn. So it grows super slowly. So founding vassals are pretty weak. All right, we're probably integrating this one before this one anyways. I think this means we want the improvement points is what I think this means. Okay. I think that's it for the turn. Improve the vassal prosperity, it gets better. I don't know how to improve vassal prosperity. Did I just lose a fucking pioneer? Oh, come on. Oh, that feels bad. All right. All right, let's grab the innovation. Let's reinforce that. Go there. Uh, we're going somewhere. Guess I should have escorted that pioneer. I think this is not the first time we've done that either, so there might be a lesson to be learned here. Oops, almost spammed in turn. All right, but we don't even have the points that make merchants. Merchants are diplo points, possibly, or maybe arts points. I don't remember which. Yeah. Culture next turn. That's all my units, huh? What is this button? Help build helper. What is this? Lost our army. So we could spawn another one. So thought is improvement points, but we're only at seven. We need 20 per. Yeah, okay. All right. I've cleared a bunch of barb camps. I'm considering taking this city out. When do chaos points reset chat? When they fire or when I change eras? True, we could build a dwelling here. I mean, we can always conquer the city. It just seems like it's... I mean, it's fine, honestly. I don't know about good, but it's fine. I love a defensive position to, uh, to farm these barbs. This is the turn we get to spawn culture too, or spawn our units. I could spawn them up here to help fight those. We kill the brown city, we get two pop in our homeland. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, they have city militia times three and palisade walls. It's a draw with our guys here. Do, so chat, if I'm attacking, do the hills help me at all? Does the counterattack damage get reduced in the same way that leveling the defense of my Spartans got the counterattack damage reduced? All right, let's culture event Spartans. Let's move these two to there. 
fight in the city tower, not tower standing. Okay. Settler is 30 if we want it, so we're too early anyways. You're just chilling. Moving that way. Chilling a turn. Oh, not that one. I want the other one. That one. I didn't like the um, the neutral designation from the fight. It got me a little spooked that uh, I was going to kill myself attacking that. There's too many barbs over here to let these guys move forward. So I guess I'm moving them back. I don't mind if this thing attacks me. I just don't want a bunch attacking me. All right, six pop. We need to fix housing so we can grow again. Can I build housing on these things? Looks like I can. Building at 10 seems fine. Do we put it there? It's less defensible than this. Is there some, is there any adjacencies that we might use for these farms? There really isn't, right? And what are the types of town specializations I can do? I can do a forest production city, like a water city or something. What are the four? I, I don't have a town to look at them right now. Yeah, but I can't put farms on these gray tiles. That's not what I'm asking. Coastal farm, lumber, and mining. So I can get a farm community. So if I wanted to put a farm town here, I would have four adjacencies for food. If I keep these farms long term. So I probably would like rather put it here. All right, let's build our house. All right. Anything else we want to spend? Exploration. We could spawn a scout. We're seeing a point. Government, we're waiting. Okay. A mining town and surround it with clay pits. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Let's kill that. Let's move to there. Let's run. I don't necessarily want to end turn. We could spawn that settler now. Is now the time for the settler? Like a town. Get town by all of them marbled deep into the woods or down the coast. Settlers 36 now. Oh, is it gone up for the second one? It is. Uh, what's the third thing we we're going to do? Possibly integrate, but we're waiting, huh? Want to keep our culture going. All right, Barb's suiciding into my guys, which is great. Let's go ahead. We can't combine them, can we? Do I heal in neutral territory and hostile territory? Is city-state tired territory considered hostile? And how much are we farming out of this one? I don't heal inside city-state territory? Okay. Let's attack that. I don't actually think I got one out of that. Didn't I have 26 a second ago? I just looked and don't remember now. All right, let's go this way. Heal as long as you don't take an action. Does that include uh, movement? So I moved two to go to there, but I kind of want to stay there. All right, this scout. I wouldn't mind seeing what's down there. It's just going to be the edge of the map though. Chill for now. Exploring. Can't move through that, so I don't think there's a lot of point moving over there. 
You guys can just fortify. All right, cities is zero, 33. We need 36. We grew to seven here. We are working, what, a forest tile. Maybe now is the time to start thinking about improving forest production. Uh, we'd like a little short food. We want to build. We're building the work camp still. Five more turns is forever. But we don't get a lot of production from the city quite yet. I was thinking either a forest town in here or a farm town in there, and maybe both eventually. I think I'm going to leave this for another city, though I don't have to. And there are mines in here, and there might be something useful over there. Our next Eureka is coming soon. What was our first Eureka? Can I see where they were? Not Eureka, Innovation. It was something like Spartans do something, 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 but I don't recall what. Spartan Movement. Okay. And you said they can't see them. Okay. Uh, we do need to set up production here. It's not a bad idea to start setting up the production from this town. So, Forster's at 12. I guess we can't do it this turn anyways. Could also be another clay pit to get those innovation points rolling. It was helpful having innovation early. And the stone cutter was the one who took no, this was taking stone blocks. This is why I wanted the hill tiles. Do we have the tech for the tier two clay pit or the t the tier the clay pit production building? We don't yet, right? It's coming next turn. That's the kiln. All right. So that's fine for now. Oh, Barbs have snuck by us. I forgot about that unit, by the way. Innovation Martial Law. 300 gold or 4 unit suppression. Spartans gain 4 unrest suppression. That doesn't seem very good. I mean, I guess when they're done, they're going to go sit in cities. Maybe it's fine. Do they ever... Do they stay Spartans forever? Well, the thing is, what can I do with gold? I think I can rush gold. Culture, maybe? Can't access this stuff right now. Wouldn't mind the gold. All right. If I spawn another innovation now, is it going to be the same shitty one I passed, or is it going to be another one? A new one. Fantastic. Okay. All right, let's start slamming this city. All right, gain two population in Seattle, 100 wealth, 10 chaos and destroy it or allow it to be vassalized. What do we want? got two hills in its borders it's got plenty of flat terrain we we're planning to vassalize anyways but we're a little bit we're tr planning to place our own city you think it's in the capital's growth space from here i mean rather if we burn this we're going to settle a different one We haven't tried the vassal tech stuff. It's not far from where we want to place. It's a bit limited by tiles, but it could be our water our first. I mean, I guess we're gonna get water over there too. All right, let's try it. Let's make it a vassalized territory. Okay. 
this China as well? God damn. All right, got a tech. Blood Age Crisis. What does this work again? Other nation units have killed. Other nation units killed in battle is greater or equal to six have one. Okay. Let's choose our next tech. Our next tech was going to be belief. We have all of the previous tech, right? Yeah. Okay. Brown seas counts another nation. Okay. All right. We are wanting to build another kiln and it's 12 for a kiln this is 19 for it. oh kilns the second one what's the first tier clay pit the gather it's not civic gather cooking woodwork and stonework and clay pit is not stonework or the other one huh what is it considered then oh clay pit isn't on scrubland right I can build it somewhere else though, like here. It's 12, so it's next turn for that. All right, government's 36. We can spawn a settler. We could integrate one of our vassals. I don't mind settling up this way, maybe. Like that tile. Kind of overlaps with stuff. Yeah, the graphics in this game are garbage. We could try to settle way over here, too. We've got the Spartans doing nothing over here. Go for an early port. I think it is going to be a settler. I just don't know where yet. Can I spawn out of this territory? I cannot spawn at vassals. All right, I took one of our pop points. Make sure it's working the right stuff. It is. When do we grow again? Six turns. Are we overworking food? No. Okay. Should we spawn our pioneer now? Uh, our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Thank you, Norrell. I was thinking this forest settlement is okay, right? There's a nice blocker for China. We need to be able to make it into a castle, though, or have military units, or they'll just kill it, probably. I guess we're not technically at war yet. I guess it's at least wait a little bit for that. Okay. Yeah, we already lost one pioneer, which is really annoying. Did they just kill a warrior up there? They did. It's not called a warrior, it's called something else, but you get the idea. Fucking Chinese troops sitting over here. All right, uh, we're gonna send these guys back to deal with that shit. And these guys are gonna go clear out the barbs. We have open borders with them. Neutral here. All right, government's at three. Our next military one is at 35 if we want one of these or 60 if we want one of these. And what is volunteers gonna spawn for us? A war band. I don't want. Wow. These guys are going to hit the Age of Iron in like two turns. We're barely through like second tech. Drills is good. Which one is drills? Oh, military drills. Eh, we'll see. All right. We were waiting to build. We have the area, but not the product. We don't have the people now, right? So the person we lost. 
could unwork the plantation short term to get the clay pick going. Let's screw up our growth though. I'd rather grow. So we'll get that upgrade soon. Yeah. I mean, this hill defense thing did eventually get it. It took like 20 turns to do it. Okay. Another city state up there that we maybe capture. We could push this in. Well, it doesn't, we're not going to get an Age of Crisis, right? Because uh, they're going to tech into the Age before it can trigger. We might get attacked on two sides there. That would kind of be annoying. Do we want to do that with the Settler? Probably not. I just want to go around the other way. All right. Nine pop already. Nine four one, huh? If you're going for feudal government, your vassals are going to get fairly big, so you don't want to settle too close together. I don't know what I'm going for. I'm just trying to figure out what we're doing from what we're seeing. All right, pop six. China getting pretty mouthy. 48 here. The next tech is 60. One. Okay. This is Millennia. That's the name of the game. Oh, I forgot to move that scout. Okay. The Ottomans have warned me that my borders are too close. These the Ottomans this game? Really? My borders are too close? I just think that's ridiculous. What a ridiculous warning. This looks very hostile, by the way. My forces are too close, not my borders. Okay, maybe that was what they said. All right, we do need some more units. I don't know where the settler is going anymore. Trust this. I guess I'm going to go kill them with these Spartans. Which we're kind of set for something else. So north of Borneo Forest. I don't know where that is. Uh, we're not there yet. 60. This is all moved. Oh, I wanted to move that scout that was stuck, right? This one. Well, not much there, sadly. We did grow, so we want to build the next clay pit, I suppose. Which was gather clay pit. Build lock. Good. Okay. And is it time for an outpost? How did I integrate an outpost? Is that the culture event? I think it was. And I feel like this settler probably actually wants to go over here somewhere. I don't know where. Somewhere over here, maybe. 
All right, are we ever gonna finish this building? Oh my God, this is taking a long time, this work camp. I feel like I've been building this for centuries. Can rush, we have gold. This is two, turn, two more turns of production and it's giving us work points per turn. Does rushing increase in cost as we, as we do this? I mean, what are we doing with gold? I'm getting plus five, but where is my actual gold reserve? Here, 344. I think we're grabbing it. Okay, so we rushed that. Maybe should have done that when we had the gold. So our first interaction was rushing. Council is what? More government points? Knowledge. We want that. This is exploration points. It's diplomacy experience. Crane is production points. And encampment is warfare and combat experience. On unit build, scout cat. Okay, they get experience on build. And they gain warfare experience per turn. Which is useful for our... Um, spirit. I think I want council. Still only three knowledge. Don't we have a knowledge building already? Oh, this is the knowledge building we unlocked. All right, we definitely want council. Okay. So they killed themselves in the city center. Good. Kind of want to heal a turn, so maybe we go there. Oh my god. Okay, barbs. Wait, who is going to kill my forces? Not Persia. Ottomans, right? Yeah, but I want the combat strength on the Spartans, the health to be relatively fresh because I want to go take that city state. All right, how is that city state doing by the way? I see it's health. Can okay. Uh, what do we get? Eighty for our next one. Wait, I feel like I lost warfare experience. Did I lose warfare experience? No, it's sixty. It wasn't eighty. Okay. I don't know where this settler is going anymore. Now that we found a city state up there. If this is too close, which it might be, then it might need to come over here. Let's go there. All right, these Spartans are coming back to deal with these guys. And we have another tech. So belief is done. So we can either go into the next era, which is a government era. Or we can continue filling in some of these. Claim territory for exploration points might be nice. Gold for culture might be nice for Russian culture. Foreign import slots, okay when uh, we're not at war with people. Why do we want the double integration speed if we're leaving them as vassals? I don't know how quickly we'll be fighting China. Might be nice having some of this too. I don't know if I'm making them all vassals or not. I don't know what I'm doing with them. Kingdom gives... What is kingdom? 
Oh, is it the next government type? All right. Let's grab next era. I feel like we're behind a little bit anyways. I kind of want to try the vassal thing. The way this has sorted itself out with capturing city-states and not having enough government experience to integrate this early while doing other things makes me think I kind of want to try the vassal line. So let's try it. China feels like they're trying to do something over here, huh? It's going to attack the city again. It looks like it is. All right, let's move the settler. To there. Let's reinforce that city center. Let's clean that barb out. Now let's go to the hill. Goody hut, hell yeah. All right, government experience, pretty valuable for us. Let's just wait a turn here. This looks really hostile, right? Four armies right on my border. Okay. Alright, four... Uh, I guess if we're... I don't know how many of these we're making per turn. Again, it should be on there. We're making one per turn, so it's four turns on our next one of these. Kind of need the other military generation one, don't we? All right, city's at seven. I think that's all the tiles improved. We are making four upgrade points per turn. Do I have to do something? I, I can already fight them on neutral territory, right? Okay. We have culture next turn too, so we can also spam another one next turn if we want. Interesting. Okay. I think. Possibly. All right. Uh, nothing else this turn, I don't think. Tribal 35 here. Is there any reason to take this? It really isn't. I don't want one of those. Okay. All right, so what are we doing with these units? They don't heal here. So I guess we want to take this in two turns. That where we want to back out. I think we want to try to take it. Hope it doesn't weaken us too much. Current opinion. I'm enjoying the second playthrough more than the first, but I preferred the early errors in the first playthrough as well, or whatever playthrough it was that we ended up playing. I didn't like it very much last time. But we'll see what changes here, if anything. It felt complicated for the sake of being complicated as opposed to interesting. The AI is quite bad. It's the same spammy fucking 4x AI that we've been playing for 20 years. Hey, why didn't I kill that unit? He's not on that tile. He's on the hill. Culture power, are we gonna spawn more Spartans? We got this, so we can take the next level of these if we want. Heal ninja nin okay, call reserves is fine, but I don't wanna do it right now. Experience from guarding. My units are moving constantly right now. And what does experience on a unit do anyways? I mean, 
Hypothetically, we've been generating experience like a million turns of fighting. Gives us levels. What do they do? The veterans are multipliers. Veteran level 2, 1.2 attack and defense. That's kind of interesting, actually. I didn't realize they leveled up in strength as well. All right, so our culture things could be spawn a town. It could be spawn some more Spartans. It could be get more innovation points. I think that's about it. Wouldn't mind another Spartan so I don't have to build them. Okay. 11 turns on our next culture event. Well, we teched a tech that lets us get more um, things, right? Council can be rushed at 144. I have a hunt 293. We could start on the temple, which is what we are waiting on. This is. Let's rush this and start temple. Okay. And it's just standing there, huh? All right. Uh, let's attack into that. And then attack into that. Got away. When they route like this, is their morale done for the turn? So if I attack them with the scout, what happens? They I don't I don't even know what morale does. We'll just die. Perfect. All right, if I want to go to, I don't even know. Where do we settle this? Right there? Is that too close? I feel like that's perfect. Could be right there, maybe. Maybe that one's better. I guess there could be a barb there. There won't be, though, right? Okay. All right, uh, if we slam this, do we know what happens? Okay, their walls are dead. Their militia are at 43, 45, and 80. We win 100%. Does a win mean it removes them? Or does it mean we just come out ahead? I'll take it. Okay, I want to take it. We're going to vassalize it. Okay. Goody hut over there. It would say draw if it was that. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was the like direction of the victory you know like if you like if i did 75 percent damage to their health but i only took 25 percent damage that would be a win not a draw but i wasn't sure what that so that that nom i wasn't sure what the nomenclature meant basically oh why does why was i able to move to that tile here oh because it just doesn't know what the tile is i see For more detailed damage taken and damage inflicted. Okay. That's probably what I was looking for then. Uh, barb camps do not respawn in this game, right? Oh, there's fucking barbs over here. I guess we're relatively similar strength. Should be okay. Okay. Uh, what do we have? Cities at eight. Government's at 41. We're waiting on the next era to spend government points. Warfare's at 73. There's no reason that we cannot take this. I don't know if there's a reason to take it. I will take it though. Oh, we can grab this now. Ah, that's the reason to take it because we unlock warfare experience plus one per turn. Anything else we can do? How close to this are we? A million miles away. Rushing's outside of our pay grade. Okay. It's interesting, the morale mechanic. That might have some depth to it, maybe. It's possible. All right, let's go hide in the town. Barb camps can spawn. Okay. 
I'm gonna go kill these Chinese units. Maybe. There's no zone of control, right? So I can't like lock him in. Why can I not move? Oh, because it's got the archer in it. So let's move the archer out. Let's move to there. Let's move to here and take an attack. Okay. This is my scout. Let's just keep it in the area. Culture actually might be a town. Yeah, we probably do. I didn't remember that it's kind of cap, but we'll see. The growth cap. Let's keep scouting. It should be one tile over with the mountain range there. That tile. That's probably fine. I need a scout in there. It's the only problem because I can't see to move the settler. The settler's been out for a lot of turns without settling, too. It's quite a lot of cost to not have a unit available. I suppose we can heal here for a turn. I kind of want to start slamming this camp. Do I still get this uh, unit experience if I move but don't attack? So if I go there. Also, how much has this town? This town has regional capital, militia times three. It does have militia times three. No moves allowed. Okay. Let's take the guard action for one turn to heal anyways then. This is actually probably good timing. Exactly. All right, nothing to be done in government, nothing to be done in exploration, engineering. It could be time to spawn. We're at 28 improvement points. Oh, we got the tech for the, the clay pit improvement, right? Um, whatever that's called. The, it is the, is it still under gathering? It's not, it's gonna be stonework, kiln. All right, so that should be quite a bunch of production points again. It only converts one clay, uh, so we need another one eventually. We may still do that. Growth's a little sketch here. Okay. Next culture action to be a new government, maybe. We can see what uh, violent overthrow costs us. I haven't looked at that before. Mostly because it sounds horrible. Sounds like that's probably not a thing you want for your empire, but. All right, what happened to the bar? We just moved over there, huh? Uh, let's go clear the camp. All right, wasn't my scout headed over there? Oh, my scout was headed for the resources. Well, let's start attacking the camp. I guess they could slam the city with two units then. I think the city will be okay. What happens if the barbs manage to kill a city? Production in Seattle, or we can spawn a catapult. I really want a catapult. Okay. Cleared the camp. All right, the Chinese think they're getting away and they are not. I guess if they retreat to the hills, it's a problem. Because I can't wipe that unit. So what's my best? So we, I guess maybe now is the time to engage with the log a little bit to see how this works. I don't know. Is it better to take two attacks with the assumption that they won't retreat or to combine into one single unit, like one, tr I guess, can I have four? No, I can only have three. I have three and then hit it with once. Hit control, click to stay in the city. How would I have stayed in the city from attacking the camp over here? Oh, you mean I would have stayed here? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Draw means they won't retreat. I didn't know either way. Is that what that means? Okay, so we draw. And the log says, can I go to the end? Doesn't say anything about morale in here, so it's just damage. I see it as a unit stat when I hover it. Leader. Didn't say anything about that either. All right, well, let's attack it again. It did flee. 
and I cannot wipe it. As I said, it's annoying. It says I can attack, but I definitely can't. I will use the undo here if there's something there. Archer can go back in the city and suppress. We're scouting in here. All right, government 47, warfare 26. Okay. Uh, what's gold at? 157. We aren't making any. So we got a lot of production points out for what it's worth. We are making some engineering, which isn't bad either. Did double slam the city. All right, I want to move into here. Do I just attack this? I kind of want to be in the city to get to take that next turn. So I think we're going to move into the city. Does that mean we will heal? We will heal, but we won't get the full experience, right? Yeah. The uh, promotion experience, that is. All right, I want you to go to there. I guess you're just guarding the city again. City's grown to two now, still unintegrated. I want to kill this with the scout so my other units can do it. Do I know? Win 100%, we'll take it. Okay. All right, so the Chinese armies that have been bothering us are dead. What do we want to do with our Spartan contingent here? I guess I'll have these guys just chill for experience for the moment. They've been quite good, honestly. Could war the Chinese. Might even be worth it. Hey, we'll go uncover that. of archers does the i don't really know does it do they like set up in lines like if i have melee units do they protect range units do the range units do more damage when they're not being bothered like is there some sort of interaction between that they do interesting what does that mean under siege city militia wounded all right our cap grew again can build another one of these. We don't have another grassland tile. I was gonna say we could build another one of those things. Culture in seven turns is quite slow. Uh, we do have the points that we could improve something else. We could improve one of the um, lumber tiles, one of the forest tiles. We can build a kiln on scrubland. Oh, we should do that then. Let's build, this is stonework kiln. All right, housing needs a little bit more space and food's quite low as well. We just have low morale, all right. I feel like if we're gonna do a pioneer, we could do that now. I don't remember if there's a barb in between here. I suppose I could start moving the archer to have a look. It's not a scout unit though. Maybe when the scout comes back, we can do that. All right. So you are gonna go explore this location. Uh, we killed the units attacking this, so let's go grab that. Warfare experience, warfare experience, or a chariot. 16 attack, 12 defense, cav with unrest suppression. Good versus ranged. Kind of just want the warfare experience, honestly. 
Another barb camp to wipe out's nice. I finished a game. We got to era six and ended last time. Does that count as finishing a game? I don't know. All right, what, where? Our next era is next turn. I want this scout to come back. I want you going to like there. Uh, let's go vassalize China. That sounds kind of nice. I don't know if we can do it with a single stack of Spartans, but I'm going to find out. Seems unlikely that that's going to work, but maybe. An adept, unadept, maybe one stack of startins, I see. All right, so we finished our temple, which is culture generation. Starting to catch up on buildings. Lookout is exploration experience. Meeting hall is diplomacy experience. Crane is production points and encampment is warfare experience. Uh, are we trying to get anything more from this tech tree? Maybe defense well fortified, for example, it's kind of a nice one. This is all units too. This is actually quite a big bonus. If I don't move, use my movements, they're 50% extra. I probably do want this. Do I want to build another military production building? We seem to be pretty aggressively military right now. If Basically, if it doesn't take a turn, Victor, if it doesn't do anything on its turn, Victor. I think we would like to... Well, I mean, we're going to build something, right? I think we wouldn't hate... Uh, an encampment here. Do we take crane first though? Probably. The improvement points are going to be good with the um, the pioneer in a minute here. We're going to need 40 improvement points really f quite quickly. You want me to bring the archer? I can't add the archer to the stack. Do you think two archers is... Do you think two Spartans and an archer is more effective than three Spartans? It feels like three Spartans are going to be more efficient. Um, all right. But when I have a four stack army, shouldn't I just bring the other Spartans still? Isn't four Spartans going to be more efficient than three in an archer? So when, when am I ever bringing that archer over? I have a crossbow. Let's see. All right. I think they are hostile to us. I believe. Is there a way I can tell easily? Because I have to check my diplomacy. And this is the Ottomans. The Ottomans have been a dick. Okay. All right. Let's clear the camp. There's one. Oh, he cleared it in one. 15 culture would be nice. All right. Got the research complete. So we could go back for discipline, which would give us military army size and domain powers and another unit. It's fairly cheap. We could go claim territory, which would let us spend our exploration points in some sort of meaningful fashion. And get an envoy to do something. Or we could go for one, I think, I don't know. The thing I'm feeling right now is that, um, I don't mind taking discipline right now. Spartans are carrying us for a little bit, which is what they should do. But these cities do not seem strong to me as vassals. 
So how do I violent revolution the the thing here? A violent revolution government domain power. Revolt against the current government and form a new one. Gain chaos as a result. Doesn't tell me how much. Well, waiting two turns is culture, but I kind of want my culture for other things. Twenty chaos is quite a lot, and my, my is my new government. My new government's always going to take government points because it's not a spirit; it's a government, right? It's kind of rip. Discovered new uh, new resource, coal. So I probably want my government points, sadly. Which probably means we're not going to be able to do what we want to do with our pop here. We're going to hit pop max and not be able to do anything about it till we get a town. Is there a way to get a town out of engineering? No. Are the only ways to get towns out of culture? Oh, a pioneer and absorb. But wasn't absorb a culture action? So isn't that the same problem as just placing a town? So how does that help me? I need to get better placement. take this now heal an, heal an injured army in friendly territory to full health friendly is not neutral and it's not hostile I'm gonna take the defense well fortified I guess for this turn he has like pioneer towns a lot huh well we could spawn a pioneer and try to do the pioneer town thing where would we do it it would be in Seattle right um, we want the government first so it's gonna be a little bit of time still what happens? Let's say, um, let's say I planted a pioneer. Like, let's just let's use this tile for an example, right? Let's say I pioneered this this tile, and I put the um, the twenty cost improvements on these tiles, and then somehow I was able to integrate that town into my capital. What happens to the improved tiles? Lost. They don't become the appropriate improvement. That seems stupid. Okay. That got more interesting, didn't it? Is coal a good, is iron a good resource? Let's spawn the pioneer. I don't know where I want to put it yet. So I think we're going to go government. I can't even see the government types right now. It's kind of annoying. Surely we should go government before town, right? Like, I get that a town, I guess, I guess, I get that I'll be blocked for growth but who fucking cares right so I lose like six turns of growth and I get the government bonuses now surely that's better all right 
they're all on the same page there. Government's only good if I have an XP to buy it. Sure. What is the first tier of government going to cost? I get? Well, it's not only good if I have the XP to buy it, right? Because the f just upgrading to the next form of government gives bonuses as well. Anyone know what the first tier of government points is going to cost? First tier zero, second tier then. I hate looking and reloading. Always drives me nuts. Are we taking discipline right now? Three turns we are. I think it's 30. Okay. Let's reinforce with the Spartan. Let's leave these guys here. Let's move the... What is the upgrade I can make? Oh, I didn't realize an upgrade. That's interesting. Let's move that guy to there. The upgrade is to a crossbow. Ooh. All right, let's move back to then. I will try moving this crossbow in. Can I upgrade at the end of a movement or only at the beginning? Doesn't say. So, didn't want to move them both. Just wanted to move the bow. All right, bow to there. Upgrade. Spartan to there. Fortify. Pioneer to here. Can't be upgraded or can only to a leader. We could look at what leaders do here. Everything else is moved. We're waiting on this till next turn. Tribal is good for now. Warriors are good for now. Engineer. Could we spawn another engineer? We could. Do we want a second pioneer right now? What's the upside? We could actually make a long distance one. Is there a long distance place we want to place? Like there? Or is that where this pioneer thinks it's going? Aren't we gonna, weren't we thinking of placing one here too? Like right there? Maybe that's where we should have gone anyways. Or there, I suppose, is maybe even better. I mean, it's got better yields and more tiles. Or even there. Kind of want to go there and here. I guess it doesn't really matter the order except growth first, maybe. Pioneer just south of the grapes. That's what I was looking at initially. It was that one. I'm not sure the grapes are a resource we care about though, right? I think it's either the food, in which case we want to go double sheep, or it's the production, in which case we want to go here. And I think both are fine. Grapes and devats give culture. The iron between the hills is much better than on the scrubland. Iron between the hills. On the iron, you can't settle on iron. You can't settle on a resource tile. Why not go a third? I can eventually go a third. I just can't go a third immediately because we have to integrate them at some point. We have to decide which ones we're integrating, which ones we aren't. Which is a bit more planning than I have the wherewithal for right now. Alright. Why can't I... Oh, I can't walk in there. Do I have to declare war beforehand? I do. Do I have to do anything to set up for declaring war? Not really. Can I see if their city... Ha their city looks like it has walls, judging by... Those are palisades, though. Yeah, not being able to set all the resources is super annoying. Do I know how strong this city is in some way can i predict it it's got militia times four and palisade walls
I'm gonna get unrest when I declare. Interesting. Am I gonna start just slamming these? Sounds like yes. All right. All right, it says draw. Army power six, total defense six, total defense six, the archer. Where do I see this? Taken light damage, dealt medium damage. Okay. I mean, that was quite a lot of damage taken. I don't know what they're talking about medium light to me. That was 60% damage. How is that light? All right, where do we want this settler? Did we decide? I suppose two is not very good compared to three, so it's probably down here somewhere. All right, are we taking this settle now? This is gonna piss these guys off. doesn't pitch a fit I'd be pretty surprised all right next turn is culture discipline two turns uh, what are we building still the crane we now have a granary upgrade a civic monument upgrade so these are like era border expansion etc uh, nine pops still working good stuff only working good stuff only uh, we don't need to fix these needs quite yet, too, because we're going to get capped for a bit. Engineering's at 34. We could spawn that other engineer, but I'm not sure what the another one does. We could try a, like, dis like a distant place for one. Dude, it's just so annoying that I can't interact with diamonds in the way I want to interact. Can I build improvements from an outpost on fish or only land? Like more armies is good. I have to hard. I mean, this is the problem with this vassal shit, right? Is I can't produce them. Can't produce anything out of those cities. I guess they'd probably just be building infrastructure anyways. But trade posts don't float. I mean, okay, they just added six units out of nowhere, and then Persia declared war. Okay, rip this town, I guess. Uh, is the leader stronger? All right, let's try taking the next government. It's really tempting to spawn Spartans here and hold the city, though. All right, this is going to set everything back, though. We get no new government, and we get no new uh, town. We could still overthrow hostile, hostily overthrow. And that would let us spawn Spartans and protect the city. Can spawn volunteers. We don't have the tech. It'll be next turn before spawn volunteers does anything. Spawn volunteers is currently just a war ban, which is pretty useless. But when we hit the tech for discipline, it will be a spear at least. Maybe that gets around. All right, we'll try peaceful revolution. Okay. Uh, it's kingdom or dynasty, imperial dynasty. Buff the capitals, buff the homeland. Which one is the vassal one? It's gotta be this one, right? Unlock seat of power. Seller cost, envoy domain, conscript immortals. All right, we'll try this one. Select. 
Moxie to power. All right, we can get one of these. Two spear units out of Vassal is immediate. That could protect the place we have, the front place. Seems good, right? Well, it's a government domain power. Oh, brutal. That's actually not that good. Because I pay 30 to unlock the ability to do this. And then I actually have to pay for it still. Really good powers. Install Satrap. Okay. We got to defend it. So we'll take that. Let's see what this ability costs. 20. It's not a lot. Okay. I've got these units stuck over here. They need to be out of this area. All right, what are we doing with this stuff? Can we take the city? The city feels like it's been reinforced. We probably cannot, right? Archer, Warband, and Leader there. The walls are dead, but the militia are all fine. So I think this is kind of bad news. Did it get more expensive? Uh, yes. So we probably want to back up and then reinforce the army. We don't have discipline yet, so we can't reinforce it yet. Kind of want to occupy the forest, too. Let's do that. Could be this hill. Could be the forest we're on. Gets us two resources instead of three. No sight over here is annoying. There could be a fucking AI unit over there. Uh, what else do we have? Engineering at 37, exploration at 35. Spawn prospector. This was convert a hill into a gold tile, right? Forest Ron gets some good roads and friendly territory to heal. Yep, that could be very nice. Can't do it this turn. I can't move on top of it because they can't combine until next turn. It's going to be two turns regardless, right? Prospector near the iron for like that one for a superb one you're thinking. Could do. Could spam four prospectors and make a sick one over here too, yep. Well, that's gonna be a shit ton of exploration points. Four is overkill, please. What is overkill? Oh, I see the uh, suggestion of what you're thinking. You want it over here. Hmm. I want something to do with these resources. So this city here has plenty of productions when we start developing the trees, right? So this city is going to be short food. Now, we can't put food on these yellow tiles, the scrubland tiles. And there's no more food in there. The food conversion, which we have the tech for, would be good, and we need to build that at some point. We need some more border expansion tiles for that or delete some of the stuff we have. We can eventually get rid of these um, pits if we get improvement points elsewhere. But again, we're struggling with the fact that vassals are kind of fucking us right now because I can't utilize any of their land. So we're limited again by land. So I'm a bit confused as to where to go here. There's an argument to just like settle like a fucking thing here, right? It gives no resources, but it gives me three tiles. They have to be connected to be integrated, right? So if I plant an outpost over here, it's until I can connect those borders. 
actually don't know. I haven't tried that. So maybe it's here. Is it ever here? So weird. The expansion in this game is very different. Because tiles are so much more valuable than any other game I've ever played. Just like raw flat tiles. I do I want it one more south, true. That's two river farms available. Three expansion tiles available. Road over here. weird with so I mean maybe there's another city over here seems weird not to take advantage of the resources but I guess if we're integrating it immediately it's a different thing than the resource ones which are designed to send you resources All right, so I can upgrade the scout into a leader. Uh, how do I know what the tactics stat of the unit is going to be? Like, when do I... So leaders cannot be upgraded later, right? Put Pioneer up to left to where it's going. You still get seven tiles, but a tile for Doc. These tiles are quite a bit worse though. There's no there's no um, grassland river, so there's no farm tiles. Why do I want to dock here? You just want to get me into the boating. First dock spawns a utility boat for free. Mm. What am I doing with the utility boat here? I'm just gonna get it barbed to death, right? I'll consider that in a minute. Uh, what was I just asking about? I was asking about something. I've forgotten already, though. Oh, I was asking about the leader. So do we want to do anything with this leader? It's 10 experience to promote this guy to a leader. What does he do? So he's currently his combat strength is 6 attack, 20 defense. And the spears are... Wow. Scouts have better defense than spears, but there's lower morale. Morale is 20. Spear morale is 40. Persia ward us instantly, right? So the scout dies if it goes back over there. All right, so let's go up this way. Scouts get defense per era. Weird. Do they have any suppression ability? Yeah, four. So are we actually generating unrest right now? Nope. Okay. So if I upgrade the scout to a... What are, what are the stats of the leader if I upgrade him to a leader? How do I even see this? So he's currently a scout. And if I upgrade him to a leader, where and what does he do? I mean, I can save and load, but I prefer to just know. Higher unit era gives higher leader. Okay. Oh, I see. So the tactics is equal to their the era they're made. I see. Or not the era they're created, but the era they're from, the tech is from. I'm not going to worry about it for right now. Where is this? Well, they just moved a bunch of extra units in around there, didn't they? Still not that many. It's kind of a lot, let's say. All right, so Seattle is pop blocked. They're here. We don't get, we do or don't get penalties for attacking across a river. Don't, don't I 
think. There's a major penalty. How come it doesn't show a major penalty when I hover? Research complete for discipline. Well, I will if I have to, but I was trying to get the preview to see so I don't have to ask the question every time I make a combat move, right? Forces are influence in all regions. Don't know if regions count vassals as well. Actually, don't want to make this decision quite yet. Yeah, I could take the tech here. I could also move uh, the crossbow, the healthy Spartan and the two most healthy Spartans from here onto this tile and make an attack there. Regions are not vassals, okay. And these are bow hunters and war bands. So they're kind of weak, honestly. Maybe it should be this full stack, but I kind of wanted to heal. I can get behind the logic for settling here too. If the boat stuff's useful. There were a ton of resources in the sea from those those ones last time. So it is possible this is useful. So that'd be the settle next turn. This would be go here. Go here. Attack there. Hoping to kill before they could flee, but it looks like they get to flee regardless. Does that mean they can kill my guy now? Do they have three movement? How do I see the movement of a bow hunter? Watch them kill my pioneer from this. It shows me the attack power and shows me they're routed, but doesn't tell me their movement. No idea. 20? Thank God for that. All right. I suppose I'm going to need to do this anyways, right? Do I have healing available now? That was a full heal. I have a partial heal. That is reinforcements. I think I should probably force march it. That's an idea. A lot of combat options here. I think I want to heal that instead. All right. Uh, what's going on here? So what was it? Control to attack into them, but not leave the area? Force marching. Okay. And... Do horses get defensive bonuses in hills? Everything does. Dude, what are these? What was this bullshit about my spears wrecking chariots? He's got fucking destroyed by these chariots. So when they're routed, they don't fight, huh? Huh. 
didn't go as well as we had hoped, I don't think. Ottoman or neutral, I believe. Upgrade there, 20 warfare points. Could force march, how much movement is force march? Fully restore the movement points, temper crimes, units health. So we could do that. Can they attack us from here though? They probably can, right? One, two, three. I don't know the cost of how this works with the roads. They can't. Hmm, that might be worthwhile. Ooh, I can't attack him, chat. Because the hill. Oh, we don't want to do that then. Fuck. Can't undo it either. Go protect Pioneer. Pioneer's not in danger, though. I mean, I could sit it in the city center, I suppose, but probably better to be here if I'm going to do that. The big army. I don't want to take damage in the big army. Was a wasted force march, though. All right, what else do we have? We got these guys. Got this guy. Our next tech. And is that it? So cities pop capped. Culture in nine turns. It's more than three turns of lost growth, by the way. Kingdoms here, waiting on government points. Exploration here, could spawn a prospector. We should probably spawn another 32 improvement points. So we probably need to unwork growth here, right? And we are gaining unrest now. Looks like the war unrest is ticking up. Is it enough to make us positive? Not yet. What buildings do we have tech unlocked? Midden, Vats, Stonecutter, Kiln, Quarry Plantation, Mill, Pasture. Mill was food, right? This is the food building. How much wheat are we sitting on? Four. And Mine Press, Saw Pit, Weaver. Saw Pit's relevant here too a little bit. We should switch, we should build improvements such that we can work all production and not worry about food right now. Which I think has to be lumber mills, right? Since we only have those tiles. Did we take infrastructure? I don't think so. Wait, what do you mean, did we? Infrastructure is not a tech. Is it a different thing that you're thinking of? Second on the right in Iron Age. No, it is a tech. No, we haven't taken anything yet because we're just entered this age this turn. I think we can throw down two foresters. Shouldn't have been there though. It should have been here and here. I don't know how many towns we're placing. I'm like building around towns that maybe don't exist. All right, that's two. Uh, let's cut, this is gold. Let's cut farms, this is food. So can we starve? If we go low enough, does it starve? That does look like it's detecting, right? So we do need to maintain. All right. So work those, work those. I think that's it. There's probably more efficient food here, but we lose the wealth. I don't know if we care or don't. Might be able to get one more worker in there. We won't, okay, so that's probably fine. 
undo improvements. Doesn't look like it now. All right, what tech are we working towards? Any of these help with vassals? So this is border expansion everywhere. Increase the number of towns or region can support a nice tech. Aqueduct is sanitation. I feel like arts and wealth are pretty far away. Correct limestone or marble to statues, which are culture. Feels like it has to be horses here, right? Smelting's copper or iron, which we don't have yet. All right, let's grab horses. Building an aqueduct would overcome the town issue. It wouldn't though, right? So an aqueduct gives us sanitation, which is growth. It doesn't say anything about expanding pop though. Oh, it ups the region level. That's why you want this. So it takes eight turns to tech this and however many turns to build the building, let's say optimistically five. That's 13 turns away. In nine turns, we're gonna plant a town or integrate an outpost here, which is gonna do the same thing, right? So it's solving a problem slower than the way we're already solving it. We do want more tiles in here. I think I'm taking horses first. What, uh, what, at what cost do I need um, sanitation? Or what, what pop do I need sanitation? At 11. Well, it's just gonna be a negative growth modifier short term. And we're gonna have to grow anyways after we do this. I think we'll be okay. Let's do horses first. I guess, does this apply to my vassals or no? This uh, influence to all regions. I need to know if our region counts as a... Regions are nations populated settlement territories distinct from vassals. So it's not a vassal. It's a lot less good then. Maybe it's not any of these texts. Is it possibly something back here? I mean, right now, the only use of exploration points we have is prospectors, which convert hills to gold. But we could say, fuck that. Let's buy some territory and get specific tiles. We could also attempt to get... Uh... What is the first boat that can go in deep water? Is that this guy? Age five for deep water. How do I tell? Is it gonna say that on the, like if I hover it, is it gonna say you can enter deep water? It's a more modern Civ 5. Nope, not really. I liked Old World a lot. If you haven't played Old World, I would strongly recommend that. It's a little bit different than Civ 5, but it's a better game. We'll say unit may enter deep water. I mean, there's an argument for getting the next level of housing and the next level of, uh, and getting the first level of sanitation right now. Anyway, we I mean, wouldn't mind a second town in this area. Let's go. I'm. I think I think the fact that this doesn't apply to all my territories makes this a lot less appealing to me. We have a different route for production besides iron, and we don't have it in our borders yet. We're going to want it eventually, but I think it's too early. I think we'll go this. All right. I got to say, chat, this restart has been much more enjoyable than the previous playthrough. All right. So they're being dicks over here with huge numbers of armies. We're probably gonna go kill this city. We're gonna settle this outpost now, huh?
All right, we get some road to them. So we can move across and attack. Do I know how strong it's going to be? I guess I can do it and undo it. So that's going to be a win. Except it wasn't a win. Oh, it was. We're there. We just have no health left. Is that our health bar? It's a closer win than I thought it was going to be. Okay. If I kill his town, there's no value, right? I just delete his town. What I really want to do is take the city. His walls are dead. It's a draw. I wonder how much damage it's going to do. It's a lot of units. Dude, what is this garbage combat prediction? Draw. I lose fucking 98% of my units here. What? <laughs> All right, I guess we're undoing that. I don't think that's a good outcome for us. Maybe it's fine. We do need to take the city, but he didn't kill anything. He's got a leader too. I don't think that's good for us. I don't think we're gonna get this without more units and our units have been culture produced units. So I'm not gonna be getting more of those anytime soon. We can try to lure units out and kill them, I suppose. Can burn his town. What, what happened to just the basic like universal pr combat prediction thing where you hover in a unit for attacking and it shows you the damage your unit's gonna take and the damage they're gonna take? Why is this tooltip this weird thing where I have to fucking guess? Why don't we just have a normal combat prediction? Like a solved UI element that we've used in a thousand years of 4x games at this point. I'm a little salty about it. A little salty about it. I don't know, chat. We don't heal moving in there. We don't really do anything moving in there. Are they like barbarians? If I plant my unit there, are they going to attack into us? Doesn't burning the town just hurt us long term? Like it means we're going to have to build another town for this city? Store town is engineering. Can I pillage another tile instead? Probably. Can I get a combat preview, please? Win 100%. Dealt heavy damage. Taken no damage. All right. We took damage. Okay. Maybe these units fast. Can he kill that unit of mine? Can't see what he has here. We may have missed our timing window to do anything with that. It'd be very annoying if you were a player and you just had your expanded borders deleted. Where did this barb come from? attack what is this this is a leader and a spear this is just a fortify moment okay finished their crane upgraded seat of power gives us two government experience per turn which is a pretty big deal wait wait does it i can't even tell what this is town center building gave us one. Oh, I see. The new one gives us two. So it's only plus one. It's plus one Diplo, plus one government. Is that how I read this? Yeah. Some 
economy shit. All right. Meeting hall, diplomacy experience there. This is scouting experience. Stores are domestic export and production. It's a little bit interesting. Kind of need some military units right now. But I can't build the only military units. I mean, I guess I could build some crossbows. Let's build a crossbow. All right, anything else we could do? Exploration 35. We could spawn another prospector if we thought that's reasonable. We do need some more suppression too. That's another decent outpost right there, right? Iron, iron there. I mean, just depends if we're trying to send it in or not. I really don't know. We were trying to get a spawn units to let's say reinforcements or it's volunteers i don't know to, to reinforce this maybe we really ought to be building the the lookout tower for one turn from uh, it's exploration not military what was the military one the encampment three turn i feel like we need the crossbow to finish our war with china i feel like this city is gonna die and maybe it's okay if it dies. I don't know. I f don't know about this vassal stuff, though. It seems insanely slow. Don't know where this is going, though. So this node is worse than one of the nodes over here. This node looks nice, but looks difficult to defend right now. I don't want to put military units over there. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. So I don't really have military units. I might just hold it for now. Yeah. Innovation, bend the knee. Pre-gunpowder units 1.2 attack versus militia sounds great for us right now. Or 450 gold. We're currently minus 2 gold. And this would let us rush some stuff like crossbows. Nice to have a competitive belief for once. Both sounded good to me. All right, let's heal. I mean, we could ignore this and try to go for the other town. How do you decide where to settle and we're just plopping outposts? I, I mean, you're just, how do you decide any action in a Forex? You're trying to weigh the relative value of what you do versus the other relative value of the other things you could do. I mean, I talk about everyone that we're placing in the in the game that we're playing. I've talked about the pros and cons. I don't know how to make it more general than that, though, right? You're weighing the pros and cons of the specific location you're deciding on. Kind of want this guy coming to fight us here. Let me go. Oh, I could just stay where I was, couldn't I? Let's just move back and fortify. Are the Spartans max level? These guys? I don't know what max level is. What's the max level on a unit? I think these guys are unleveled, possibly? Three or four. How fast can you move on roads? Can they attack my outpost from here this turn? I think they're one tile off, right? Assume that roads are double movement. They can go one, they can go two, but they can't attack. Yeah, 
yes if they have 20. Uh, we might not want to make that move. That unit strength is a lot higher than I was expecting. 104 because, oh, it's two chariots, a leader, and a spear. Yeah, I can't go over there. Oh, they killed that city too. Okay. All right, uh, things we're trying to do. We're trying to spawn more spears in this city when we can to do that is military 25. Crossbow in like a million years. The city might've been too aggressive. Permit points are 22. I don't hate a but I can't defend the outpost right now, so I guess I have to wait anyways. That could be okay. That's two growth tiles, but only a single olive. Mm. Spartan reinforcements to the front. I guess this unit can move too. <sighs> Fucking end turn, dude, as a rotation is so irritating. Why? Why would you just put that at the end there? I mean, I guess it got them to move out, I guess. Yeah, it should absolutely prompt you. If you're going to put it at the end of unit cycle, there's absolutely no no universe in which you just want that to. Like, how many times has that got me in the last three days we've played? Like, a lot, a lot. Dude, where's this giant? Where, where do you get giants from? Yeah, the combat interface is ugly. Although my, I'm getting used to how ugly the game is. So is that a route? How do I tell if they are routed, ranged routed? So I can kill them with this unit then, right, entirely? Okay. Great. We finished a crossbow, I believe. I want another crossbow. I want two armies of uh, I think I want two armies of Spartan, Spartan, crossbow, crossbow, Spartan, and then, so I need two crossbows and um, over here, or two more crossbows, anyways. All right, how long till we can grow cultures? Five turns on culture, huh? All right, I guess we're building another crossbow. We're minus income right now. Are they doing anything to me while they're in my town like this? They're making it grow slower, but they're like weakening it all or anything, or just standing there. I'll get money from conquering. Okay. Tiles that are standing can't be worked. Okay. All right, we have 27 points, so we could spawn reinforcements in this city. We move the scout out and spawn two more spears. I mean, they haven't attacked it yet though. They haven't even slammed a single time. 
Do we need two more spears in there? It's probably not two spears anyways. What does the actual thing give us? Is this one spear? I think I'll wait. It's like seven, six, six, seven beta. Uh, wait. Dude, those numbers are so... What? <laughs> Wait, wasn't... Weren't they the same army strength? That was 34, my scout was 30, my warrior was 33, right? How did it one-shot it? Alright, it's another game where the numbers don't mean anything. Alright, well... No combat preview. Can, okay. Maybe crossbows are really good versus warriors or something. Got to retreat too. How annoying. Sure, but it does make that number preview kind of useless if you're trying to eyeball army strength by numbers, but the numbers are not related at all to the outcomes, right? I mean, we were in a defensive spot, wooded terrain, with a unit with the same combat strength, and it got one shot. It's written in their description. Don't be dumb. What's the fucking number written? Not even in the description. The description's a further unit down where I have to hover the fucking thing, right? To get the description. I got a little number here right now. What is the point of this number? This number's supposed to give you relative combat strength of the units without having to go read a description, right? That's the point of the number. And if the number is the same as the other number and you're just like, ah, it's fine. It's not fine. Like, what is the point of adding the fucking number to the layer if it doesn't do anything, right? It's not fine. It's not a fine number to have. <laughs> it's like shrug it off. Uh, you could have figured it out if you did some math. I don't want to do some fucking math. What's the UI elements for? <clears throat> Alright. I mean, it's weird. Don't care, but it's ridiculous to like just write that off. It's a bad UI design. Again. All right, we need a second crossbow. We have a second crossbow. I guess we can move one out. Is it better to heal, move and heal? What are these promotions? Promote the leader. And promoting doesn't cost me movement, right? So I could pres I could promote a Spartan. Do I lose any part of the Spartan when I promote him? Is he still a Spartan or is he a is he a leader Spartan or just a Spartan? You don't see how you communicate it differently? I think if you're gonna have very strong modifications to units, you don't want their combat strength being a thing. I don't think this number is a valuable number for us, right? It's just a leader. But I, I guess I don't even have to provide an answer, right? I can provide the problem and the problem can be illustrative of what I'm talking about, right? We had a number that was basically equal to another number standing next to each other. And not only was that not a close fight, that was a one shot in a defensive terrain tile, right? So we need a, we need a, a UI element that does a better job at presenting the player with the predicted outcome. Each two leader plus two levels is 40% bonus on battles. Do we lose all the Spartan bonuses though? Like we have to pay upkeep now and he doesn't have um, leveling up over time and all the rest of that stuff? It could have been. I mean, that's an interesting thing too, Lars. I wondered about that when it happened. Was it a... I mean, we were blocking this tile, although hypothetically there's two other tiles there. Could it have been a routing thing? I think all of my units get level ups, not just spears. 
Oh, it is. Hmm. Does promoting heal the unit? No. Okay. Alright. Let's go here. Let's promote this guy. Cost me 20 warfare to do this. Let's bring the crossbow and the units. Oh, leaders are slower, which is a little bit annoying. And now, how's his attack look? Take a look at the bottom. It should be here. This is the barb attack. It's not the same one. It's the other one up there, too. It wasn't. Alright, what was this? Uh, Alright, so we're trying to get... Okay, again, let's, let's look at the problem. Ready? The problem goes this. I'm trying to get a sense of the outcome of this fight. Ready? This is what I want to know. So how do I do this? I could look at combat strength. This is 143 to 27. Those numbers don't mean anything in the same way they didn't mean anything over here, right? 34 to 33 or something, and it's a one shot. Does this mean not only do I one shot it, I like crush it like 15 times over? Does his, do the generations of his, of his descendants, both in the future and the past, feel this attack because of this combat distance? No, it's just a number that doesn't mean anything. So why is it here? Anyways. Sure, it's not even calculating the walls and militias. You're making my point for me. So this number, not only is it super confusing, it's also not representative of the actual number this tile has. Anyway, so if we hover this, what do I get? I get his palisade walls are dead. His city militia times three. His spear is 100%. His army power is 27. Combat power says I win 20%, I draw 80%, I lose 0%. I deal heavy damage, I take light damage. I assume this is a worthwhile attack. Some of the time I one-shot the city, some of the time I do a bunch of damage. I don't know how much I'm taking because I still have no prediction of this. We took light damage one time and our units took 60, 60 to 80% damage. So. I think this is okay and there's an undo, but man, it would be lovely if I could get some sense without having to do the action. Dude, how come I got to attack the backline? Because the broken militia, oh, because the backline's not a ranged unit, it's a spear, that's why. Why are they able to focus fire my, I guess we're focus firing kind of as well, but they're definitely focus firing that spear somehow. I mean, these are all broken. Do the militia run? Do we take the town when the militia run? There's no morale damage demonstrated here either. Regional capital conquered, four population killed, 70 wealth looted, 20 chaos gain for cap capturing a, it's annoying, for capturing a city. We did take light losses. Because we have ranged units, they have two targets and we have four. But they never attacked the leader, right? All those attacks went to the, is it a 50-50 then? And they just coin flipped all those attacks and all of them hit the Spartan? Because the leader took zero damage and, and, and absorbed zero attacks. It's a lot of dice rolls. There were four attacks and it's five rounds. Is that 20 attacks that, I'm not sure there were five rounds. That's an awful lot of 50 percenters to land. Anyway. Uh, 
Uh, I guess this unit should keep moving in case somebody pops out of the fog and tries to snipe my fucking house. This one can stay put for the experience. Culture soon. Bunch. We don't have enough money to buy off a chaos event right now. And is this now a vassal? Vassals pay tribute. Oh, I can see what the vassals have built by hovering. Or by clicking, rather. I didn't know that. Can I see what my other vassals have built? Nothing. He's built nothing. Nice. Why does that vassal let me do it, but none of the other ones do? Maybe because he has something and the other ones don't. Oh, there's three rounds. Okay. Alright. Uh, do we have any other units? Yes. You can chill. I know. I always feel like I have the same complaints with games chat. Like, I just want the information to be clear to me. And the clearer the UI does, the better it is, right? And the less clear it is, the less good it's doing. Don't play by numbers in this game. It's not a numbers game. What the fuck are you talking about? It's not a numbers game. This game wants me to micromanage every single population and change what the micromanagement of each population is doing across the course of the game. With the whole, like production system it's absolutely a numbers game it's a micro heavy numbers game so i don't know what the lol don't you're drunk man you're drunk you're drunk marcus you need to go sober up and you may offer advice again it will be met i'm sure just as graciously as i always meet advice all right Might be a good time to call it though. It's a simulation. <laughs> your mean your words don't mean anything. It's a simulation. Every game is a simulation. It just doesn't have meaning at all. All right. Perch is coming to attack the cap. It's exciting. I don't think this unit has combat strength, but I guess we can reinforce via here. All right, let's go there. Can we reach there? We can. Okay. City's now unprotected. All right, we integrate it in three turns. Does this city have people? Oh, it does. It's rebuilding. The walls are dead, but the militia are at some health total that I can't see. I guess they're full health, the militia. I just want you to I want you to listen to your own statements preferably in your head before you type them but afterwards we'll deal with right what's under the hood is completely different than Civ 6 what does that mean Civ 6 is a quote unquote numbers game and this isn't Civ 6 is not a simulation but this is a simulation what what does any of this mean what, what are you trying to, in your very awkward like attempt to give me unsolicited and unwelcome advice, what are you trying to tell me? That I should just right-click, ignore the numbers and right-click, see what happens and go it's a simulation? I'm playing it as that game. I don't play Civ 6. I didn't play Civ 6 when it came out. I haven't played any of the expansions. You're again... Assuming some shit that isn't even remotely close to reality and doesn't make any sense in the context. I play hundreds and hundreds of games. I have a general sense of how games work. 
I have played lots of 4Xs, of which this is one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you're just going to need to stop offering unsolicited advice. Because it isn't helpful. You either need to contextualize that in a way that represents the reality we're dealing with, or you need to stop offering it. I think we're going to... We're pretty much healed here. I think we're going to move and try to take the next one of these cities. I'm hoping three militia can ha stand against one spear. I actually don't know what type of unit type militia are, and of course the numbers are going to be entirely useless. I could kill this unit, but I don't want to spend the time, I don't think. I want this city. I don't know the best way to kill units here. Do I want to keep killing cities? Is it going to just make my chaos like astronomical? I can't. Uh, I'm out of movement on the leader. So we'd attack this with everybody else and the leader's going to be stuck. I don't know if I want that. The leader being slower than the Spartans is kind of annoying. Oh, this isn't even a hostile spear. This is a... Uh, yes, it is. Why can't I attack it then? Because oh, we don't have enough movement to get into there with the leader. I see. Hmm. I guess we stay here, then next turn attack that. So if we go here, we have zero movement. But next turn, we have enough to attack into that. Does the... When I attack a city center, does it cost the cost of the... By the way, who said he's a settles a settles a city between fucking four mountains? By the way, but if I did attack this, is it going to cause char uh, charge me the hill cost or a flat terrain cost for attacking a city? And does it count as a roaded tile? Maybe it counts as a roaded tile. I, I don't. I think if I attack this city has three militia I mean the the crossbows are gonna wreck the militia maybe it's okay I'm a little worried about that um, immortal dying or whatever it's called a Spartan dying of course I'll have no idea we win 20% we draw 80% we take light damage the city army will destroy the city easily what is those combat predictions then according to this four-fifths of the time I don't destroy the city I was worried about all the damage the Spartans are taking. So we did not take this city this turn. Okay. All right. All right. So these numbers suggest that numbers are illusionary and are not actually a thing. It suggests I have to look at every single stack to figure this out. So what is this? This is a cavernous spear, neither of which are good versus militia. Militia are line units, which are weak to ranged units, presumably. And what is this? These are crossbows, which are stronger versus our line units. But still, the difference here is I'm f more than five times as strong as this, supposedly, by this combat preview. What does it say when I hover? Taken no damage. Uh, let's roleplay a fly on the wall watching the numbers. Let's roleplay a mathematician. A famous mathematician who learns these things. Leader, spear, spear, okay. bizarre comment all right we're stuck here uh this is china so we're dead there we're dead if we go to the barbs we could teleport this home is there a reason to do that mm, maybe we could go there and see if they fight instead 
it normal is it normal that the minimap is useless i mean it's part of the the role play purpose you're role playing a slightly blind individual who is just a little bit fuzzy who has bad maps and doesn't see well All right, how long on the production here next turn? What happens if I create a unit in the city when I'm at five of four army? Does he get bounced out? Yeah, that would be funny if it was like the old world music tech, but it's the in-game uh, map tech. The map is useless until you tech cartography. That'd be very funny. All right, um, this is a tomorrow thing. Let's pick this up tomorrow. Uh, this was much more fun today than it uh, for the new playthrough than it's been in the past. Maybe because we're warring, but probably just because we have a little bit better understanding of how the pieces fit together, and then we can make decisions that are a bit more impactful. I'm still not enjoying the UI quite a lot. The game is still ugly, although it's getting it. My eyes are getting, my brain is getting used to the way the information is displayed, so it's a little bit easier to ignore the ugly and see the what the meaning behind it is. The numbers are still super fucking annoying and the AI is still absolute trash. It's just it's just garbage 4x AI, like spam all the units, randomly make what are basically random uh, interactions with the player just to force the player to do something. Which is okay, I guess. It's definitely going to be a single player game. It's a very slow paced game too. Anyway, we'll pick this up tomorrow, continue our playthrough there, see what it's like. Uh... I don't think there's much else to do here. Purchase coming down to attack us, the spammy garbage AI stuff. This is a very frontal city, settled city. I'm hoping this is okay. We'll pick it up then. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Have a good one. If I yelled at you, please take that into consideration for the next time you post. And if you guys were just helpful, regular viewers, I uh, appreciate you being here. Appreciate you guys experiencing this with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow.